It's trying. Oh, now we're live. Hello, everybody. It's Cindy, the jewelry nurse, and I have with me tonight designs and do-overs, Miss Kristen. Hi. As you say, hi, Kristen. Hi. Oh, and you know what? You probably people almost probably thought you were Roberta there for a minute because oh, you've got the I same puppy like dog. I don't have pretty fingernails. <laughs> yeah, but you do have the same puppy dog. Did you get yours from the same place she did? I um, I got mine from Lydia. Oh, okay. I think that's where she got hers from too. Yeah. So I, cute. I have a real one in life, and I love little docks and things. I think uh, Roberta does too. My daughter has two of the long-haired dachshunds, and they are adorable. I had Bonnie and Clyde. Little fireballs. Well, hers act like Bonnie and Clyde. Hi, Triple J. Hi, Paula. Nice to see you guys. We were just sort of chatting while we were waiting for people to kind of trickle in. Hi, nice to see you guys. And Paula. Hi, Olga. Let me switch over to live chat. I just realized I was I still in top chat. I need to bring my computer in. <laughs> because I, you said we were, you wanted to go live, and I started... I washed hands and got all ready, and then I went and started working, and now my fingers are all gross. <laughs> That's okay. That's uh, most of us generally have gross fingers after playing with jewelry. Yeah, polishing up my Biwa Pearl. Unfortunately, it doesn't come clean when you try to buy it. If it's too clean, they want too much for it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. If they have it all pretty and shined up, they're going to want way too much for it. Hey, Josie, nice to see you. Um, did I miss anybody? Hey, Carla, nice to see you. Carla. And Raven, did I say hi, Raven? If not, hello, Miss Raven. So tonight we're just, we're not an auction tonight. We're just going to show stuff that we have available for this weekend. As you guys know, Roberta is um, at her son's house tonight. So I don't think she'll be joining us, but I know she has some new awesome stuff for tomorrow or for Sunday. Roberta and I are going to be on on Sunday because of her trip. We're um, delaying our um, our auction until Sunday, but tomorrow night will be Kristen and Christina. Um, so it, that should be fun. Should be a variety of awesome things. Hi, Moon Goddess Treasures. How are you? Nice to see you. How are you, Miss Paula? Nice to see you too. We have two Paulas that come in, so um, so you guys know they are two different Paulas, not the same Paula. <laughs> um, I am going to let um, I'm going to let Kristen go first until her auction is tomorrow night. I want her stuff to be at the beginning of the video for people who end up because I know we're coming on kind of late. So for people who come in tomorrow to watch, I want them to be able to see her stuff. Because sometimes the video gets a little long, and if you can't stick out through the whole video, at least you'll get to see Kristen's stuff in the beginning. And everything Kristen is showing will be um, up for auction tomorrow night. And there's the other Paula. Hi, Miss Paula. And as you guys know, Kristen is a silversmith, so she does make and design her own jewelry. She also can do jewelry repairs. So if you um, like her work, then um, keep her in mind the next time you need a repair or you want a custom piece designed, Kristen is your girl. All right, Kristen, I'm going to bring you up and go ahead and tell them about yourself and your channel and anything you want them to know about. Awesome. All right. You go, girl. You're up. Okay. Hi, guys. My fingers are a little... Cindy told me we were going to go on live and I sat down and I started sanding and yes. polishing. Are you on your phone right now? Because if you flip your camera, um, you'll get a bigger picture. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, guys. I got to get to my camera. <laughs> Hold on. I'll try not to make you dizzy. Camera. We'll do... Just flip front. your picture on your screen if you're using a cell phone. You just have to flip your picture. <laughs> there you go. And okay, we'll do that. Oh, you're flipping, not, not your whole camera, just your Yes, picture. I see what you said. I see what you yeah. mean. I'm a little. Whoops, we lost her. She hit the wrong button. Okay, well, we wait for her to get back in. I will show you something that was a surprise. Very happy to get it. It was from Mike from um, You Like Jewelry. 
and he made this it's a bracelet when i opened it i said you know what that actually looks like white buffalo and to my surprise after i read the card it is white buffalo the what gave kind of gave it away for me the difference between the magnesite and the white buffalo that i have noticed myself is that there she is is the white buffalo has a little bit of brown in it sometimes if you can see this has a little both brown and black matrix thing there you go she's back we'll we'll get her camera sorted out here in a second there we go i think she i think she just needs to turn her jewelry but as you can see this has both brown and black matrixing in it oh, which not. was my first hint because magnesite does not have that brown matrixing that i've seen and it's heavier i noticed that the um, white buffalo, buffalo definitely feels heavier than either the howlite or the magnesite so when i picked it up it felt very heavy and i'm going okay that might be white buffalo and it is so i wasn't expecting that so thank you very much mike if you're watching i love it i have a um, white buffalo earrings and white buffalo ring that i will be wearing it with probably tomorrow so thank you mike you know there's gonna be no more white buffalo they changed hands the mine did and really uh-huh it's called um bison white bison now and they haven't released any for a couple years now okay you know how you flip your you um put the setting on your screen yeah on your phone to allow your screen to flip settings when you turn your camera and then turn your camera sideways. Yep. Hold on. I bet that's not on. I know it's not. Yeah. Um, click that setting that allows your camera to flip when you turn your phone. And if you do that and then you just turn your phone sideways, it will give you a larger picture. It'll fill up the whole screen. Turn your actual phone. Okay. Okay. So for some reason, oh, you there, it is. there you go. Now we got it. All righty. That's what oh, you need to do goodness, tomorrow. Guys. Then you'll have a bigger screen. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank yeah. you guys for uh, sticking by us. People are, uh, this is Kristen is fairly new to this. So she's learning as she goes. Yes. There you go. Now you just got to. Or your stuff okay, and we'll start it. with rings. Okay, so I have this one. Let's see. Can you see it? Nope. You got to come over to your right. There. There, there you go. go. I see it. I couldn't find myself. So there you go. This is a seven and a half. It's very thin. Oops. Is that uh, vermeil or gold? It's ver I don't want to scratch it too hard. So yeah, um, yeah, no, you don't want to scratch the vermeil. So yeah, the so I haven't. I would sell it as um, vermeil. I would not sell it as gold, although I kind of think it is. But I'm not going to scratch hard enough for that to happen. <laughs> cool. So what is that stone? It looks like it's got an etching of some. It kind does. Of I believe it's actually. See, can you see it? I don't know if I got enough light on. Oh, there. There we go. It's kind of like the Siam look. And on the and it's not solid through, so I can't tell you if it's done on the reverse side or not. See? Yeah, I see that. Interesting ring though, for sure. I know. I couldn't just leave it because it was the lady, the estate I was at had very interesting jewelry, and that was one of the pieces. Okay, so here's the next one. It's a beautiful stamped ring, but then when you turn to the side, you have little CZs. And by little, I mean several millimeters. <laughs> oh, no, that must have been stressful, Jen. Ooh, that's stunning. I know. Wow. So I will tell you guys, this is small. I believe it's like a seven. It can't, it's very thick. It can be stretched, but yeah, wow. it is, it is a fun ring. If it's on your Let finger. Let me see the sides of it too. Does it have the, uh, it has the stamping. Oh, okay. Very cool looking ring. 
I loved it when I saw it. My friend is wow. doing another one with real stones on each side. And, and I'm have, glad that they didn't put stones on the top. Me too. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, without them. It's cool without them. And then this is emerald and ruby, just like you think. Yeah. But as you can, you can see, tell. it's not clear. It looks it's, like the real thing. It is. It's awesome. Hey, Maria. Nice to see you. And it is a bypass. It's sitting at about an eight, eight and a half right now. But you hey. can make it smaller or bigger. Hey, Miss Amanda. Nice to see you too. Hi, everybody. Then this is just a little um, CZ. Oh, they're all sterling too. I'm sorry. And it just is a little dragonfly. Oh, cool. I love dragonflies. I know. I just think they're cute. Okay. And then this is my, this one's really tiny, but it is a well-made ring. It is solid. No, that would be a whole nother lawsuit there, Triple J, to sue for pain and suffering. You'd have to sue them for your injury beyond just getting your workman's comp. Oh, yeah, I recognize that uh, mark. That's Han, H-A-N, is actually a manufacturer. They manufacture out of Thailand, Thailand and China. That's what I was going to ask if you knew what it was, because I've seen it both on China and Thailand pieces. Yep. They have manufacturing in both places, and um, they actually manufacture out to a lot of um, name brands, too. Cool. A lot of the um, um, designer pieces are actually manufactured by them. Yeah, and that source to China, like some of our U.S. designers, a lot of our big U.S. designers um, source their work to China and Thailand because they can make it cheaper there. Yes. Shameful doesn't mean they make it better. They but they can make it cheaper. No, and actually the craftsmanship in Thailand is wonderful. And Thailand is awesome, yes. And They're China is importing silversmiths right now. So Hey, Isabel, really? Yes. Cool. So they are trying to up their game. Okay, I'm going to show you this down here. This is 14 karat gold, white gold. Nice. It, it is marked and I did test it. It is actually what it says. And um, it's cute. It has these little, I don't know. I don't know how to, it's fun to play with. It's like, they're like little, little individual pieces. So. So is it like jump rings all soldered together? Well, yeah. Um, you could see the chain. See it? Yeah. So they, they soldered them onto the chain. You know what? That would make a really awesome um charm bracelet can you imagine how many charms you could oh i didn't think of that shoot i would <laughs> yes mm -hmm. this would be awesome for charm bracelet because see how they sit hey sharon how are you oh. miss amanda nice to see you and andrea and very strong i didn't think it would be but i've played with it and trusted did some testing and i hung off some pendants off it just to see how it would hold up and it didn't have any problems Nice. And actually, gold is stronger than sterling. So, yeah, it's tiny harder. gold is yeah. not like little tiny sterling. Just, I don't know if you know that, but yeah, that's it's harder. Yeah. yeah. I know that. And then, um, so Andrea sent me some videos of some beautiful um, amber pieces that she found. She has gorgeous hands. Now, she doesn't think so, but she's oh. absolutely beautiful she's worried about her nails and it's like you don't want to worry about your nails when your hands look like that oh. i mean we're talking I just have about short she could have been a hand model she has very beautiful feminine hands oh. so remember that when you do a video andrea you have beautiful hands hey judith so this is the world it is inlaid with gold and um different lapis unikite mother of pearl um, Jaspers. You remember in the, I might've been eighties. I can't remember when they started making those, but they started making globes yes. that were made out of stone like that lapis yes. and different stones. That's what that reminds me of. That's, Beautiful piece. That's it. And just, you guys can look this up. I did. I put it on just a little, um, gold plated chain that I had that's 24 inches. You can look them up. They go from anywhere from um, 299 to 699. So you'll be getting a good deal if you come tomorrow night. 
Could you imagine what the globes cost when they started? Well, they weren't gold, but just no, they were made out of brass and globe we, out of stone like that. Yeah, and we like, did. Uh, I bought a couple for my family, different family members, um, in Tucson, and they were not that expensive then, but they are now. <laughs> yeah, they're outrageous. But this is true gold. So, and it's it is marked and i did test it acid test it no andrea i mean that i have a weird thing about hands you know how some people have a foot fetish well i am attracted to hands that's the first thing i noticed about my husband was he had just really gorgeous manly hands like model hands and just, so i like hands i notice hands i don't know why but i do i do too because i um was um an expert in graphology that was one of the things i did i would testify and so um i also learned um palm reading from a chinese lady which is totally different kind of palm reading it's a medical kind right um, yeah so heard. it's not i'm not necessarily predicting your future or anything but i can tell you a lot and they do teach a lot of it in um our our medical schools even yeah, there are strange things that you can yep. um, see by looking at your hands. For one big one that comes to mind is the simian crease, which I'll show yes. you real quickly here. Um, is very like this yes. goes across well on uh -huh. people with Down syndrome. Yes. Their simian crease goes all the way across. It's, it's one line weird. all the way yes. across. It's a lot of people don't know that, but it does help with diagnosing that. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of things with your hands. So I went into it very hesitantly, um, but it actually was kind of fun. And I did that for many years. <laughs> it was fun. A side, a little side gig. You too, Maria. Cool. So but these are Mother of Pearl. They're a great size. Ugh, they're wonderfully lightweight. And um, when you flip them over, you can see the shell. I do want to let you know whoever glued them, I think did a sloppy job, <laughs> but you're not going to see that part, but I do want everyone to know that they are sterling. So those, I love those. I have different kinds of um, shell ones. So I always think those are a good deal. Just to give you guys a heads up, those of you who were at Jim's auction on Wednesday, I will be invoicing tonight. So if you were looking for an invoice, I haven't sent them yet, but they are going to get done tonight. Oh, good. And this is, anyone guess? Silpata. Oh, cool. That and looks like is, an older piece of Silpata, too. It is, and it's... Is it marble? Oh, I don't have my notes with me. I believe it's a piece of marble. So Very cool. um, it's retired and I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. But yeah, it, it started out, I believe it was $89.99 was its uh, manufacturing suggested retail price. And that was probably quite a while back. So. I believe that one was 2011 and 12. All right. So I'm sure it's a retired piece then. Oh, yes. Um, I have several pieces. All of them. I will, all my Sopata pieces will be retired. Yes. And I'll tell you, I have um, the catalog they came from and the page number. So every, you'll have all the information. This is a cloisonne. This is from about the 1980s, maybe late 70s. Um, I have the original, oh, what did I do with it? I have the original um, piece it was sold on to go with it. I'll put it back on when I sell it to you. Um, if anyone's interested, there's the back. You can tell it's older because when you do brooches, if the, I don't know if I can show you, see the pen sticking out from the side so you kill yourself with it. Um, that means it's older and now the new brooches no longer have the pen sticking out. And um, a lot of people will bend it out a little so it won't hurt you. Um, just be real careful if you do that because the metal is pretty brittle. But that's one of my cloisonne pieces. I just, I thought it was sweet. It says like 80s to me, <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah, they were very popular in the 80s. Cloisonne yeah, that very one says total 80s. Here is another Sopata piece. Uh, the corn As a matter maze. of fact, I think the first time I discovered that was in the 80s when they started selling it on the original home shopping network in San Diego. Hey, oh, really? Vicky. 
They sent you an invite, Vicki, in case you wanted to pop in. Hi, Vicki. So this is called the corn maze or the maze. I can't remember. Um, it originally, it was sold two different ways. It does have matching earrings somewhere. And it was sold either you could buy it individually just as a, as a pendant or you could buy it with a three strand um, leather necklace from Silpata. And they sold it that way first, and then they brought it back as just the pendant. So I, I put actually it on. had those earrings at one point. I sold them already, of course, but I did have the matching earrings to that. So I, I put it on a nice box chain. Um, that's all I could find tonight. I actually, I think I might have an Omega or a heavier chain to put it on tomorrow. We'll see. Or I can put it on a leather cord, too, if you're interested in that, because I have those, too. Oh, guys, I am excited, too. I did get my stuff in from Sue to today, and I'm Yay. super excited because I got the sterling silver articulating fish, so I can't wait to show that to you guys. It's awesome. I was there when she bought it. <laughs> yeah, I think I took out a couple of people to get that that night. I was determined. Yes, she was. So this is Amber. <laughs> it has green. Oh, gorgeous. Um, is it butterscotch? I don't, I'm not an amber fan, to be honest. And I usually don't even pick them up. But this piece, I just thought was kind of cool. So I went ahead and got it. Yes, it's got green turquoise in it, too. And the butterscotch. Yeah, and it's gold. Can you see it there? The yellow. Isn't it awesome? It is. I wish I they had a bracelet that has those four colors in it. Yeah, I wish they'd opened the back up so you could see through them. But there you go. I just think it's... I love this piece because you won't see a lot of amber and I just don't pick it up because it's not attractive to me. Uh, well, a lot of people like it here. So you should start grabbing oh, I know. it. Yeah. I know. That's why I started grabbing it. Here is a little copper kitty. I can't say. Can you see all of them? I love it. It's flame. Your eyes, Pinky. <laughs> yeah, it is flame brushed and that's what causes the different coloring. Um, I didn't buff it off. I didn't change any of the patina on it. You can if you want. That's your choice, but I will not do it for you. This is the back. And what I like about the back, I'm going to turn them sideways. You can see where they um, soldered on his little whiskers and his tail wraps around. And there's his little collar. Yeah, they made that very securely. What is the name on that? Oh, okay, I'll tell you. It's Orb, O-R-B. It right. is made. It was made from 19, oh, I don't know, to 1989, 1957, I think. It was made by a man, and his first name was started with an O and the last name with a B. And I have all it written down, and I'll give you the history tomorrow. I haven't seen but, that print before. It's yes, nicely, it's, it's very nicely made, and a lot of it looks like one-of-a-kind pieces to me. It all looks handmade. It all was. It says hand wrought on it. He did not use... Um, he had patterns that he would look at, but he cut each piece out himself and did it all himself. So each piece is going to be individual. And that's one of the cool things about it. Yes, so. which they can use um, one of a kind when they do it that way, even though they may have made several of the same pieces. Right. Because of their hand done, they're all cut slightly different. One may be fatter, one may be skinnier, shorter, et cetera. They can still call yep. them one of a kind. Yep. In fact, I found one of him and it was a little fatter and his whiskers were going a different direction. And they, this is from the early 1960s, um, probably around 60 to 62. So yeah, that to the shape of the cat, definitely yeah. 60s for sure. See, and I see a little heart. Is what yes, I, see. I do too. I see a heart. So yes, I love the little kitty. That was a fun one to get. And then I'll show you some, okay, well, this next piece is actually artisan made by me. It is a rose quartz piece. It's highly faceted. See it? Ooh, I'll show nice. you the back. It's pounded. I made, so what I did was I had a piece of sterling that was flat. This is a um, bead, um, a heart bead that I had, but I wanted to make it into a pendant and not a bead thing. So it was round or it was, you know, concave. Con nice job. Though. Cave, so nice I did that. Job. And then um, 
everything's made by hand. There's the crown bezel setting. So if you test that, that will test, uh, won't test the sterling because it's not. It's bezels are generally made from fine, fine silver, which is 99.9 .9 because you want them to be very flexible to be able to bend and hold your stuff in. That's why you usually put a bezel all the way around. So I think the point nine 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 though will still test with the nine two five. I think anything above nine two five and above will. The eight hundred okay. will not, but yeah. I'm pretty sure the nine 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 does. And I'm not sure because I never have tested. I guess I should try that, but I'm I never have. I'm not really that curious about it. But anyway, so that's rose quartz. It's very nice. It's faceted. And then there this is the um chain. It's almost a paper clip um, that Chanel, like Chanel made popular. It's from France. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. it's not quite. And then it has the um, hook and eye closure. But nice. yes. Nice. So that was, that's a fun one. Well, I think it's a fun one. That's... Then I found this piece today. Or not, I found it in my stuff. But it is Laramar. And it is a double Laramar. It has the square, and it is slightly, it's not faceted, but it's cut. See how it's cut there? Yeah, I see that. It's beveled on the edges. Did you yes. make this piece? I did not. I had this a friend make it, a friend um, that was in Mexico, and she was doing pot stuff. Nice. So it is marked. And yes, so it bevels or it moves here, it's articulated here. And then she articulates this. She articulates all of her stuff, my friend. Does, so beautiful. Somebody said that's called. Did they say cloud? Cloud Laramar, yes. Cloud Laramar. I love that cloud look of that. Oh my God! I got your package, Mike. I just showed oh. it. I was thrilled. I knew when I opened it before I even read your card that it was white buffalo. Thank and I'm you. jealous. <laughs> I have a ring and I have a pair of earrings I will be wearing it with. Thank you so much, Mike. I was absolutely surprised. I wasn't expecting it at all. It's totally such beautiful, a, Mike. Such a sweet thing to do. And then, oh, these are fun. We got these. These are, oops, honey, there we go. I'll, I'll put one that way. And I'll put one on his back. These are hand-blown hummingbirds wow those are cute are they not that and i was talking to a friend today and they have just the gold you know nothing special and i can put sterling jump ring and sterling findings they would cost more but if you if you do want that instead i just left the gold because look his little nose is gold his beak yeah that his probably beak. is 24 carat on the it beak. is the beak is 24 carat hey doug nice to see you glad you're back so yeah and they're blue and then there's little colors and you can see the different things they're just i just found them amazing so yeah the detail on it is spectacular yes yeah, so i love them they were i was like oh i have to show them and then just to go with them i mean it doesn't really but it's a it's a hummingbird I just think he's gorgeous. These are all CZs. They call them faux diamonds at the place that sells them. <laughs> and they charge a lot for him. <laughs> I think they charge $79 for this little guy. Oh, my God. Are they Swarovskis? Probably if they're charging that kind of price. It says faux diamonds. That's all it says. I tried to research it. He is labeled on the back. And there, I don't know. I My camera was picking it up fairly well, actually. So... It says SU or NU, which one? S U T H. So there there he is. He's a little adorable little thing. Yeah. I like that he looks like he's coming in to eat. See how he's got his his they fan out like he's like, whoa, I gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, like he's getting ready to land. I like yeah, that. I know. I just think he's adorable. So that was a fun one. And this is one I've had for, this is actually out of my collection. This is pink sapphire oh. and, and black rhodium to make the pink look a little brighter. 
sterling silver. If I haven't said that, everything I'm showing you so far is that way. You can make it hang however you want. I always hung it at an angle like this. So. Yeah, I like it hung that way too. I always have hung it that way. Um, I never wear it. it my husband, I, he was helping me get some stuff out. And he's like, where is this from? It's gorgeous. I'm like, it's from my box. I've had it for years. <laughs> um, literally, probably 15 or 20 and I just never have worn it. I just don't. So, and it's pink I, sapphire. I remember that um, a lot of the exchanges, um, Vicki, have black glass blowers in them. I don't know if they still have, if they're still selling that, but for as long as I can remember, most of the Navy, naval exchanges right. had glass blowers in them. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Yep. They've always carried blown glass, beautiful blown glass. Yeah, I like glass. So, I don't know if you can see this beauty. Is that opal? Black opal? It's black lip shell, I believe. Oh, just, I see the sparkly. I thought it was black uh, opal. I see some color flash. Yeah, no, I believe it's black lip opal. It's just, just another type of mother of pearl. It's just a fancy way to say black. Beautiful. Here's the back. Um, Mike and I have been looking at this piece because I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm, I cannot find markings on it. Um, I put a new chain on it. The person I bought it from said her it was fake. Her mother didn't have anything good. <laughs> Mind you, it was the same mother that had this beautiful gold ring I showed you a few minutes ago. <laughs> so um, Okay, think, so yeah, that, 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 that's sterling, right? The, oh, yes, I tested yeah. it. It is sterling. I tested yeah, it. Yeah, being all not marked leads me to believe it could be pretty old, actually. I'm I, I talked to Mike about it. He thought it was very old. And then I've talked to two other people and one of them is just waiting to get back to me. But one of them said Victorian. And I don't know. If yeah, it's not uncommon to find unmarked Victorian pieces. And that is what he told me. And he he sells out of an antique um, fine jeweler. So um, I'm going to do a little bit more research before I have that. But yes, yeah, so I just I love her. I think she's just gorgeous. I guess the way she's carved, you can also tell where what era she's from, they were telling me. Hey, I was Kristen, learning. because Vicki can't stay up very late, we usually oh. lose her. I found a piece I want to show her real quick. Yeah, show her. Um, so I bought these for you because I thought they were absolutely awesome. Oh, those are awesome. They're not sterling or anything. They're costume, but they are so cute. However, when the lady packed them, she didn't, she just kind of threw them in the bag. And when I got home, I realized the tail that on that one is broke there. So I'm going to see if it's at all possible for my son to put a little piece of solder on the back right there so it won't completely break off. But I wanted to show you those before you, we, before we lose you. Oh, that, Vicky, if you collect stuff like that, I have a pair I'll slip in when you order she loves me, I'll try and remember. Off, so I just thought they were really cute. So I had to grab them for you and I wanted to show them to you. So yeah. I'm mailing out your package in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get him to solder those for me in the morning so I can stick them in your package. Yeah, I'll try and remember that, Vicki, because I have a pair of peacock ones that I was like, I don't know who's going to wear these, but something yeah, awesome. We <laughs> don't know how this happened, but I'm not going to show your full address. Well, this is your old address, but somehow it ended up um, back at your house. Up to me. Yeah, because it toggled. Even though I typed in your new address, somehow it toggled onto your old address and I didn't notice it, but at least it did come back to me. So that'll go out again in the morning, Vicki. All right, you're back, Kristen. Okay. Oh, I putting that in there. So this is, uh, this is another find from my friend, the lady that has good taste. It's a Gilson opal. You can tell that because the fire is the same all the way through it. Hi, Strong Minds. And hi, Polly. Elizabeth. Hey, guys. And this, I just think this is the most adorable cross. It's tiny. It's um, not quite two inches. And then I added a bale to it. And it is very detailed. What is the um, stone in it? It's a, it's Gilson. Gilson. And yeah. And they're the ones that make the, um, 
Opal. Man-made Opal. Yeah. yeah. And they're designer and they're acceptable. Um, like jewelers, fine jewelers use them. Yes, Gilson of- Opal is not necessarily cheap either. It's, oh, uh, no. I, it's man-made does not mean it's a cheap stone. No, I looked at this stone because I thought about making some air, making a, some earrings to go with it and sell it as a set. And um, those stones are running <laughs> about between 35 and 65, depending on the fire in them. Yeah, so there you and, go. So, and I couldn't tell if this was a green one or a pink one because they make different. If you look, yeah, you can see yeah. green, but then when you it go this way. It does have a lot of green and blue in it, but yeah, I also you can see, see the pink, pink when you go that way. And so, even yeah. a little lavender, actually. Yeah, so it is just, I Opal's my birthstone, and I'm, to be honest, I don't even own any <laughs> because I don't, I like real. I've always been a snob and want real, but real Opal is very expensive to have fire. <laughs> So, oh, yes. yes, it is. So, yeah, so I don't. Y'all get fabulous prices on Opal here on YouTube for sure. Prices you will not get anywhere else. Yeah. And I have a lot of it that I use in um, my jewelry that I make. Oh, this little cross, this, speaking of my birthstone, this is a pink tourmaline. There we go. Up oh, there. You can see it. Pink. Um, Termal, pink tourmaline is a different color of pink than like what you would think. It's not cherry pink or fuchsia pink. It has more of kind of an orange and a blue undertones. So it that's how you can tell the difference. You know that that's not a sapphire when you look at it, when you see it. And this cross has um, matted finish with stippling in there. And I think I'm going to clean it up a little because I don't think it's quite clean enough but I made this so this is another one of my pieces and I love I just love that pink tourmaline I just think it adds just the cutest little touch and then I do have a couple more things and then I'll let us get to Cindy because I don't need to show you everything oh I can't get it off the card these are hard for me to even put out for you guys to look at because I think they're gorgeous. These are native. We are not in any hurry, Kristen. We can switch back and forth. I'll let you show a few more pieces and then we'll switch back and forth a little bit. But I wanted you to get some of yours out there first. I'll put them like this so you could see their glory. These are native. They're signed. Let me see. I got my cheat sheet here. They si- they're signed Q as in Quentin, T as in Tom. They are sterling. They um, have the onyx is the big heart part right there. I don't know if this is glass or crystal. Um, It's not onyx, I don't believe. And then this is garnet. And then everything else is sterling. They are um, one and a half inches long. And and their post is in a great place in the back for you to wear on your earring. It sits up a little high for you. So it will cover any anything you need it to. And you can see, let me see, this one, I think this is the one you can see the stamp the best in. See it? QT. Yeah, the QT, Qua. Yeah. Turquoise com- uh, company, something like that. But it's yes. Q-U-O-C. Yeah, I've yeah. got some. Oh, that one's even better, too. yeah. But, and um, they do not have sterling backs, which if you want, I, I put on these backs for you that have the... Um, there you can see better off than the sterling backs anyway yes. i always change mine out because the sterling is so easy to lose the back sterling is a very soft out um it's a metal alloy and that's why you use 925 is so that it it has more strength but it's still very soft and so it is better to change your backs because you do have a chance of losing them when you do it that way and then i went ahead and put the rounds on there so that it'll help hold them up on your ear so you don't droop although they're not really heavy that's why i liked them so much and i love they have the um sawtooth there you go you can see the sawtooth around it yeah and you can see the stone above it that's a really good craftsman who didn't go over yeah their craftsmanship there it's a like a co-op of different yeah, uh, it's like native a artisans kind of mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so if they are native made. It's just kind of like a co-op. That's the company name. And sometimes you will get them where it will have the artist um, initials on them too from that company. But most of the time it just has the QT. But yes. it's very well made pieces though. They're they're made very nicely. Got to yeah. definitely get that nice native craftsmanship with it. Oh yeah, I I love them. I was like, oh. I'm going to give them to someone who will wear them because I don't really change my earrings that often. I think uh, Native Americans are like the best silver craftsmen. They they really are. And, you know, they learned from this, the Mexicans who learned from the Spaniards. So yep. it's a long history of very um, proud um, sterling. Um, yes, and it's yeah. very hard to find silver pieces from Spain. So when you do, list high. Oh, so okay. It's worth it. Yeah, listed high. It's worth it. So this is cloisonne. It's not solid. It's, as you can see, it's um, like pea stone. But I really like it. The colors are gorgeous. And it's not sloppy. Yeah, it does look like an older piece of cloisonne, too. Yep. And it's got the inside. Look, there's very little wear. I was, like, thrilled when I saw this piece. And you cannot tell... Because Carolina will love that. That's the age of stuff she's always looking for. Good. Um, you cannot see the seam where they put the um, round together. And that tells you right there it was done by a good craftsman and not just. Oh, yeah, because a lot of that's those bracelets. You yeah. can see the seam even on some of the sterling silver pieces. And I'm going to show you this piece. It's not I have not cleaned up Miss the Siam piece. I love white Siam. I do not uh, really get you're into the black. Get me tomorrow night, aren't you? Uh, did you <laughs> see the other pieces I sent you? <laughs> the pictures. Uh, so this is supposed not to have, yet. This is oh, you should have looked at them. Um, this is supposed to have them. a security chain. I will put one on. I, I don't one. have that one. Anyone oh, like don't? that? No, I have some really big ones, but I don't have of uh, of the um, Nyello, oh, sorry, but I don't have anything in white. There. It is a fabulously made piece. I don't like, um, there's a little crimping in here, but that's just whoever made it. That's how they made it. Most of the older ones are like that. So, the older sterling clamps like that. They have yeah. that same issue at the seam. So I will put on a safety class for it, but it will be a new one. And I will polish up the inside and right here and right here, but I will not polish up anything else. <laughs> Because you don't have to do any of that. If if I buy it, you don't have to do any of that. Okay, because I just it's gorgeous. Just the I chain. Think. All you really need is the chain. None of the rest of it yeah. is necessary. And I, so I'm, my, I'm a proponent of safety chains. So a lot of my um, bracelets, no matter what kind they are, are, are have safety chains on them. I've got a couple of those. I need to put chains on so I can sell them that I haven't yet. This is a um, artisan made piece. It has got about a $25 um, clasp on it. That's a heavy duty clasp. These are Swarovski cubes. Yep, and that's the uh, infinity clasp. Yes, with the AB polish. Then there's the um, bicones in the middle. And right those there. are heavy duty. Those are expensive clasp, guys. When you see find a piece with one of those on there, those to just buy that clasp. She's not kidding that it's about twenty five dollars just to buy the clasp. No, because I put that on a lot of things. So, and then it has the corrugated um, balls, and then you can see to protect um, some of it the the bicones. You have little daisies in there. So. That's a beautiful piece. It does have an extender on it here. And this clasp is so easy to work. It's That's beautiful. a good thing to look for when you have those bicones on a piece too, is that they yeah. put something in there to protect them because they do chip. The bicones yeah. do chip. And the only critique I would have if I had made this or somebody made it in my store is they didn't, you can buy um, like beads that have an opening that are just plain balls or corrugated and you cover them up. And so I would have suggested to do that but otherwise this is a piece that could have been made and by a jeweler it's wonderful they even put a little bicone at the end of the chain so i just thought i don't bring a lot of other people's made stuff because i critique it too much but i do like that piece and then 
here i don't know how much you guys know about glass but this is called cane glass i don't have it quite up far enough so cane glass is made the original color so like this one would be orange and then they put white over it and they have to heat it up repeatedly to do that and then like this one's a striped one so you'll have all different ones in here and see you can see where there was a there was something dirty on the cane so when they put it over you get to see that it oxidizes with the heat and you can see the stripes in them the, the striped ones are my favorites i love those that um so there there's a great one that bracelet that somebody finally just bought for me. I think it was Vanessa has some of those beads on it. Yeah. It has a toggle clasp. Don't ignore those when you find them, ladies, because those beads are expensive. They're not cheap. And I made this piece. So, oh, ooh, I just did that. So I can tell you, <laughs> I made this when I had my own bead and jewelry store. So I was able to get a really good price on these. They're from Italy. I bought them when I bought my Murano glass. Um, and a lot of a lot of people make Murano. They use these type of canes to do it. So that's why you can get it at the same time. Um, and these are just off cuts to them. So to them, this is yuck. <laughs> they don't think it's anything good. All the little beads are, um, balls are um, sterling. They all have um, protection on them. And then the chain and the clasps are sterling. So it's it's a comfortable bracelet. I have one that has maybe three times as many of those on it. <laughs> so I don't need to keep both of them because <laughs> I went a little overboard on mine. And then I have two more pieces I'll show. This piece, I'll show it to you tonight just because I love it. This is a 10 millimeter beaded Zapata bracelet. It is on a chain. 10 millimeter is the largest bead they ever did. Oh, and so, it looks like I see the sim seams. Those may be uh, Navajo pearls. Um, I I would call them, yes. They're bench beads is what we call them. It was made in Mexico. The person I bought this from, well, it was that same house, um, said, oh, no, it's just made by crappy Mexicans. It doesn't matter. And I was no, like, no, 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 they are amazing. Like, I turned amazing to her and I said, artists. do you know Mexican or some of the best silversmiths there are? And I walked Yeah, out. I And that's why you off. see a lot of overlap in their designs and the native designs. Yes. They are made by native um, yes. Mexico <laughs> Indian. Are you kidding? I have, I had a Mexican silversmith teacher in college. I love, I'm like, no. You can't say that to me. You can see the um, Zapata mark, the 925, the Mexican. They are also very extremely good cake artist. When I was in oh. the cake world competing, they I didn't were know that. in competition. They are very good cake artists. Are they? I did not know yes. that. Amazing. Amazing. That's awesome. So, yeah, so this is an original. It's from 2011, 2012. It's the 10 millimeter, as I said. It's the biggest one and they are bench beads or Navajo pearls as Cindy called them. I just don't call them that because they aren't made by Navajos. So, right, by Mexican. so to me, they're bench beads. Yeah, still same thing though. <laughs> yeah, it is. When, when you yeah. hear people talk about it, it is exactly the same thing. Yeah, and, they have a seam usually in the middle, which yep. is kind of- You can see out. where this hasn't yeah. been polished. I will polish it. I was just so excited because this is like, one of my unicorn pieces. <laughs> Where are you at, Maria, that it's raining? Oh, it's raining? And thank you, Adam. Yes, please show Christina and I some love and give us a thumbs up. And I will have Christina's information in the description box after the video post. So you can go over and give her a sub too. She's got a new channel. Hi, Carolina. Yeah. Nice to see you. And then here's a, another artisan made bracelet it is cool it comes off like that i like that uh it goes under. that fastens very cool and if you need it shorter you can even put Go it all the way to the middle oh yes. yeah cool so most people that i've ever seen because i've had a couple of these they're they're small i think this one is a little funny shaped but once you get it on your wrist you're going to need to shape it to your wrist to get it on and off yeah and, um that's yeah, when I do. get them, I don't straighten them out for that reason because yes. whoever gets it needs to straighten it to their wrist. 
Yes. And um, hey, sissy. when you do straighten any of yours, you have to hold it like this. Um, you want to hold it like this and warm your metal up. And don't just like phew, bend it. You want to gently, gently coax it. <laughs> so it isn't a piece that you just want to like. Yeah, because you take it too far. So you're in Texas. My sister's in Kansas. She says it's raining there too. Oh, yeah. We did not have rain here. Oh, here. <laughs> we got nasty rain yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday. When you have a cuff bracelet, don't just go like this. <laughs> That's not good for it. You want to gently and you want to kind of separate it like this. And you do want to warm it up. And you can also bend it out like this. And that's, those are all ways. When you buy these, if you if they have decoration on the top, you need to look and see if the decoration is part of the band or if it's on top. Um, most artists put it on top so it doesn't pop off when you try and make it bigger or smaller. I already got that tickle in my throat again. Allergies. Oh, no. Yeah, we had snow yesterday. <laughs> so um, my allergies went bye-bye. And then here is one that I made. This one is done with flat wire. See how it's, it's half round? And this one is made with full round. And it's the same kind of concept <coughs> that you take it off like that. Mm -hmm. This one becomes more of a bangle when you put it on because that's how I made it to go with bangles. Because I like to wear, I wear, I wear several bangles at a time with my, I stack them. So I, when I make stuff, I make it to go with bangles or whatever. So that's how that's made. So, and it has the squiggly and I love squigglies. So they're very nice. Um, so that's about, I have some more Sopata pieces that I'll have tomorrow <clears throat> and I'll have, um, I don't know. I have like, a bunch more um, crosses and CZ necklaces and some more stone necklaces. So it should be, you should have what you want. You should see something you want. <coughs> and if not, I'm, I'm like I was telling Mike, I'm always kind of annoyingly telling you things about stuff so that you're an educated buyer, whether you buy from me or somebody else, I don't want you to get, you don't deserve to be um, taken advantage of just because you don't know something. No, yeah, that's absolutely true. So no I do. Say Otis, three inches of snow. Wow, I can't uh, believe people are still getting snow. Yeah, we have. We've been. Yeah, we got it. Ours melted off today, Otis. So, and this is what I'm working on right now. I'll probably have it done tomorrow. It's not quite finished polishing. It's a Biwa pearl that I put um, around, and then I'll put this on top of it as a band. Ooh, Love those. So yeah, Biwa. Well, I'm a pearl girl. <laughs> I have a pearl certificate. That's pearls. I love pearls. So I will always. That's my favorite type of pearl too. Oh, mine too. Definitely. I love Ma Bay pearls though. I do have some of those. I do like the Ma Bay, but I like the b -Wall because I like that they're more flat. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I like that too. Yeah. I have this bracelet. This they have so bar. much more character. Yeah, they do. And I tend to like the Tahitian pearl, the true Tahitians. This is a dye. This isn't Tahitian. They are super expensive if you find them. Yep, I have I have a necklace of them my husband bought me years ago, many oh. years ago. Yeah, he paid up for that, I'm sure. Yeah, he, he got me that. It's black. Hi, Jonathan. It's black and white pearls together. But hey, yeah, but Michelle. They're my favorite. And when when I opened my store, it was a blast because we got to go, <laughs> you know, we were stocking the store. And so... I got to meet um, one of the importers, the Chinese importers, and he's wonderful. And I, um, we bought like, I don't know how many strands, but I spent like $2,000 to get 16 inch strands of pearls and pearls and pearls. Yeah. And it was the, just so much fun. <laughs> the good pearls are not cheap. So when you find them, sometimes yeah, no. it's worth having them checked out. Here, if here they are look. the other ones I like besides the Biwa. These are called coin pearls. I do like coin pearls too, but so, Biwa yeah. definitely my favorite. Yeah. So those, that's, 
that's another thing I made. So yeah, just yeah. for a huge price range for pearls though. So sometimes it's worth having them checked out if they look um, like near perfect pearls. Oh yes, always yeah. have them checked. And if somebody tells you that there are um, they're fr they are natural pearls, and they cannot give you an X-ray um, test cert certification, then do not believe them because you don't know if they're cultured <coughs> or natural. Without yep, that's the only way to tell. I was going to say that. I yeah. Did so research. please they don't let them, them. Don't let them con you. They they're, can also be very brittle real pearls, which is another reason they're expensive because they're not sometimes not completely solid. There's a cavity no, there's, in the center. Yeah, often. So, and when they're drilling, they'll, they'll crack them. Yeah. So they're, they can be very expensive. Yep. So yeah. So don't ever let it. I always, if, if you learn nothing else, don't let anyone con you on your pearls without a certificate of x-ray they cannot tell you they are not cultured. <laughs> yep, exactly. And unless you're at a really high end store, I mean, you know, like a Tiffany's or a Cartier, then they're more than likely cultured and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, cause those can be expensive too. Yes. It's, it can be thousands of dollars for natural pearls. They pull out of the water. Oh yeah. I have a Honora set I'm going to bring tomorrow. That's okay. Are we ready on there? Oh, you're showing that again. You're yeah. I want to show it again what Mike is here. So what led me to believe for one, the weight it's heavier than like, um, how light or, um, what's the other one? Forgot it already. Uh, Marcusite. Magnesite. Magnesite. That's what it is. The <laughs> magnesite of the, the two that they use um, as turquoise substitute. They're heavier in weight for some reason. Like, a, I don't know why, but they, they feel heavier to me always. And if you look, you can see both black and brown matrixing on those. And when I saw that brown, I went, wow, those really look like real... Um, the real thing they look like the black or the white turquoise and then when i read his card i realized that they are and mike made this so thank you so much mike what a lovely gift i have a necklace or a, not a necklace i have a pair of earrings and a ring that i will put this with the next thing i'll be looking for is a pendant so i really love it i was excited to get it so thank you so much I don't know if you guys see that, but you see both black and brown matrixing. Usually in the magnesite, you only see the black, and in the halite, usually only the brown, and this has both. So that, when you see that, um, good possibility that it is white buffalo. Thank you, thank you. So first um, pieces I'm going to show are a lot that I got from Jude, and I don't know if she is in the... Um, if she's in the chat right now to help me with um, some of the makers on some of these. So I'll do the best I can. This is copper. And as you can see, they are moonstones. So beautiful piece. And I think it's the first time I found moonstone set in copper that I found. I've seen it, but it's the first piece I found. And I really like it set in the copper. It's beautiful. <laughs> so nice, um, nice pendant has the, uh, the hook closure there and of course i have it tangled and i will give you measurements on that tomorrow night it looks to be maybe 20 inches would be my guess but beautiful piece it's got quite a few beautiful moonstones in it they're fairly nice moonstones a little bit of cloudiness but good color on them so that will be available tomorrow or sunday night for auction now, you guys might recognize these. I just sold a pair like this, except for I think they were carnelian, but the same design. So one of you bought them. Um, I'm pretty sure they were carnelian. I just don't remember who bought them. But if y'all recognize those, they and, and they also have the big hooks. I think they were made by the same designer. And I'm pretty sure, though, they were carnelian and not uh, amber. But these got some really nice pieces of amber in there. If you like your amber with insects, this has got some nice big pieces, nice big insects in it. So beautiful pair of earrings, though. I love them. 
The only way you can like <clears throat> insects is in amber. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look how many bugs are in there. Quite That's a few actually there. really those. That makes it more expensive. Yes. The more insects, the the um, the more expensive it is. Vicky, I got to show you this. I know you're gonna love this piece. This is silver, brass, and copper. Needs a clean up, but I think it is so cute. And it's got a nice heavy pen. That's another plus. It's got the pen is still really straight. But I don't see it. I think it's an artisan made piece. There's no stamps on it anywhere that I can see. But yeah, I don't it see cute? any. No, I don't. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> so I know Vicky's going to be fighting for that piece, guys. Cute, though. It's a good size bug, too. And this piece here also came from the same lot. This is awesome. This is a really cool piece. I love this. This is a native piece also. Isn't that awesome? And I think this does have a stamp, which I don't recognize. I'm going to have to ask Gianna. I can find them when they have um, initials, but it's harder to find them when they have a actual pictorial stamp. But this, I think this is a little bit older piece too, but um, cool piece. Looks like it does have a mark there on the bale. I think the bale was added later though. I don't think this is the original bale. Let me see what the bale says. Actually, the bale also says sterling, so it might be the original bale. <laughs> but love that gorgeous piece. Nice Phoenix. <clears throat> but you'd really find some really cool stuff. Another Native American piece with turquoise. Hummingbird. This one is really close to some earrings I sold, which I think Mary bought. Now this one only says sterling though. I don't see a I don't see any initials on this one anywhere. Just sterling stamp. but really cute. And you could actually put a, um, what do you call it? What do you call those little uh, things to turn it from a pendant, the um, converter. Here's another pendant, another, um, I know there's quite a few of you out there that collect hummingbirds. So it looks like we're going to have several hummingbird pieces tomorrow night. This one is signed um, Nora Likety. It is a um, Zuni piece. Let's see if you can see it there. It's a little bit older piece, but her pieces go pretty high. Most of the artists in that family, there's quite a few um, in that family. There's a husband and wife that make jewelry together too, but their stuff goes for pretty good money. This is one of the older pieces, though. Very cool, though. It's got um, coral and probably onyx, turquoise, and mother of pearl. And it looks like the gray there, I think, is... Um, let me look at it closely. Yeah, it looks like the gray is abalone. So really cute pendant on that one. So all that will be available tomorrow night. That's everything from Jude, from my last lot from Jude. Next up, I have stuff I bought from Sue. So an auction from Sue a few weeks ago. A lot of brooches I ended up buying that night. Some of them I'm going to let go of. Some of them will go into my, um, will come up for auction. Some of them I'm going to put in my collection. Oh, isn't that oh, cool? Oh, I love feathers. I do too. I love feathers and I love it with the turquoise there too. The turquoise really makes that piece. This looks like an older side feather too. And it's not marked at all. So I think this may be an old pond piece. It looks what like was your old question? pond to me. Yeah, I think it's an old pond piece. 
really would be nice to have the old pawn tickets that from a lot of these pieces that like quadruples the value. Anytime you can find an old pawn that comes with a pawn ticket, you scored for sure. Wow, I've never those. seen a pawn ticket. That would be awesome. Yeah, they're really hard to find. Uh, most of those are in collector's hands. I'm going to put these back in the bag so I remember what I paid for them. Yeah, I have one on, um, old pond piece tom for tomorrow. Nice. Okay, this is a combination brooch pendant also. Except for, I don't know why it's on there sideways. No idea why the, why you see that? Uh, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, why well, it's soldered on there sideways, it's kind of odd. But I guess I'll put it on a chain and see how it hangs, but beautiful carved mother of pearl. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Set in sterling and it's a brooch and it has an older style pen as you can see. So definitely older and actually it has a mark that I might be able to do a little bit of research with. It's marked 925 and let me see if I can see what that says there. Uh, looks like maybe Lure, L-U-E-R. So I might be able to do a little research, but it does have a 925 mark, but everything else about it looks older. So that's that's a little odd. And this, -E I'm, I'm going to saying? test this because I got a feeling even though it has a 925 mark, this might be 800 sterling. So I'm going to test it. just to find out because this uh, this green here, it's not verdigris, but the green tells me that it might be 800. It means it's probably got a higher copper content in it. And this piece may also be an 800 piece. Let me see what this one is marked. Actually, this has the same type of hook, but this one looks actually older than the other one. This one doesn't have any mark at all. Ooh. It's an old scarab piece. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's now loose. This, yeah, this stone is a little loose. So this one I bought for my collection, but it needs a little work. Um, but I'm going to be careful because that stone's going to come out. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's actually in there. It seems like it's, yeah, it seems like it's dirty, but it's just not. Cool. It's not well, secured well all the way around. So I might send that one to you to see if you can do a little more, secure it a little more. But that one's going into my collection. I'm not going to sell that one anyway. Um, that's gorgeous. Yeah, and I got it for a pretty reasonable price. So, um but I love it. I know Vicki loves these scarab pieces too. I always keep the older brooches when I find them the hook style like that. I usually keep those. Here's another nice uh, native piece. Little petty point piece. Mm. Beautiful piece. Beautiful, yes. And this one is marked with, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like, uh, what does it say? A lot of these older native pieces, too, you'll find. I've got a oh, couple. Oh, it's like in cursive. That, yeah, that have the, like that. It'll have, um, it'll be etched on there like this one. Those are the little bit older pieces when you find that. But that's the only thing on there is what you see right there. But beautiful piece of petty point. Looks like an older piece, too. Yeah, that's close to pawn. Yeah, I'd say. Gianna would know for sure, but I'm saying that's pretty close. 
Yeah, I ran a lot of those. And this is the piece I was waiting for all week. I love this. Look at the detail on this. This is a sterling silver one, which are hard to find in sterling. But look at the detail on this. That's sterling, huh? Yeah, this is a sterling piece. Caroline bought one of those, but it wasn't sterling, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen them in, um, you know, costume, very similar to this, but they're very, very hard to find in sterling. Yeah, I've never seen a sterling one before. That's yeah, I'm this is an older one. I think these, um, they got very popular and made a comeback in the, like, 70s. I remember my mother having one of these, and then I had one of them, too, that was a uh, costume. But they were originally made back in the 20s, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. They were kind of uh, sold to tourists in China. And a lot of the Asian countries sold them to oh. tourists. Hmm. So a lot of them, when you find them, they could be from the way back from the 20s. Wow, that's awesome. But this is the first one I've seen in Sterling, so I had to snap that one in a while. Yeah, there was no getting her to bid off that one, guys. No, I was going for it. I still got it at a fairly reasonable price, but I wasn't going to back off on that one. No. <laughs> I, I usually will give it. up and let somebody have it. If they keep bidding against me, then I know they really, really want it. But this time I really, really wanted it, so I kept going. All right, here's more pieces from Chris or from Sue. This is a gorgeous amethyst, and this does test as amethyst, which you guys know I love my bar brooches. This is a beautiful bar brooch, though. Yeah, that is, and that amethyst is is beautiful. Yeah, it's got a nice color on the amethyst too. Very nice for Brazilian amethyst. It looks like all the marcasite are in it too. Yeah, yep, all the marcasites are there. It really hasn't been that long since they discovered other mines. Um, back in the day, amethyst was super expensive because you could only get it in Brazil. He only found it in Brazil, and then they found mined in Africa and a couple of other places, yep. which kind of took down the price of amethyst. But it used to be very up there in price because it was like purple, unusual stone color yep. and not very readily available. These are really cool. These look older to me, too. Oh, those are neat. Yeah, I'm not sure what these stones are on these, but they were. I'm going to have to get some screw backs. They had screw backs. These were screw backs. So I Is need that to coral? Get it might think it might be coral. I'm not real sure, but they are really cool. Yeah, those are. You can wear them with or without the dangle. And are they gold or silver? I can't tell. Oh, they're I'm silver. Gonna... They're actual silver and not gold. Um, oh, let me see. I don't think they even awesome. have a nerf on them. They look older for sure. Yeah, my mom has. Yeah, they may be 800 sterling. I'm not sure. Yeah, my mom has some that she bought, like, in 50. Ooh, a lot 60, of the 60 older, something. And they from Mexico. She was down there with her father-in-law. Yeah, especially and, the Mexico stuff. But a lot of the yeah. older sterling is 800. And it's that rose like that. So. Yeah, beautiful, though. These are really cool. Yeah. So those also came from Sue. I'll do a little research on those before I bring them up for auction. Oops, I think I put those in the wrong bag. Okay, next up. Oh, and Sue gave everybody a point that night. She always gives some sort of gift to everybody. To everybody until she runs out. This is a really nice piece of amethyst. Look how dark that is. Beautiful amethyst point. Gorgeous 
color is amazing on that. So that was a gift from Sue. And I did buy some Siam that night, of course. You know, I can't resist Siam. And this is cool. Not Siam rings I have are either adjustable or they're like the crossover kind of pieces. This one is not. So why I grabbed that, I don't have anything like this. I do have pieces with the with this goddess, but I don't. And this is the Niello. The gray is the Niello. I have a white Niello coming. It was supposed to be here already. I was hoping to show it to you. This is Mark Silver Siam. This is one of the older pieces for sure. Oh, it is a heart shape, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I love. Very cool. I'm not really into Siam, but I do like the heart shape. <laughs> I do like, uh, I don't know why I like the Siam so much. I mean, my collection's growing a little bit at a time, especially since Roberta discovered I like it. This well, one I... Did you say your dad, your stepdad? Yeah, my, exactly. That's, that's kind of what got me interested is our stepfather bought us all back Siam bracelets years ago when I was like five or six years old from uh, Thailand and these right here actually i still have two of them oh i have that one and i have one more so i've had these since i was a kid that's so neat i didn't even realize they were sterling until i started seeing this i am um in youtube in different places and i realized that it was oh my god i wonder if the bracelets i've had my whole life are sterling so i got that because i thought it would be cool to pair with this oh that's awesome yeah i think this one was a gift from roberta so i think those will be cute together and that's sterling huh yeah they're both sterling i did not i have written off many of those i shouldn't have i guess no, they're usually sterling. I've found very few yellow, and I've this these colors right here are not common to find. Yeah, I thought it was aluminum or something. It was very light, and I just assumed it was not. Most of the, um, I, I'm sure they probably is some that are made that are not sterling, but everything that I have found so far has tested sterling. But I love that piece. I do too. I love the belt. Needless to say, is going into my collection, and I'll be wearing those together. Isn't that cute, Laura? Hi, Laura. Nice to see you. Hey, Carolyn. I know Carolyn loves um, Asian stuff too, so I'm sure she probably grabs up the Siam when she sees it too. Hi, Pat. No, Rose, not here. She's at her son's. And then my last piece from Sue is this, and I bought this because I have another piece by the same, I'm sure it's the same artist, even though it's not marked, it's made like almost identical, and it has the same um, flower, but it's just a single flower. Oh, it has that pod on it? <laughs> yeah, it has that same pod, and it has the same construction. And it looks um, really old. So does this one. But I always grab when I find the older sterling brooches with the hook style. I always grab those, no matter what they are. But beautiful piece, though. I'm, um, I really like it in person even more. Gorgeous piece. So that's the last piece from Sue. Let me um, bring the box of stuff here. Let me put these back into my box. One of these days I'm going to do a video on my Siam pieces. I've got, um, I did do research on it when I first got into it, what the different gods and goddesses mean. And some of them are more rare. So some of the pieces if you find a particular goddess are worth more than others really yeah so i don't know if you guys remember me showing you this brooch right here this is lamode 
So, and I told you like during the, um, somebody's auction, I don't remember we had somebody on for auction. I was looking for something to show you guys and just happened to run into a page of Lamode brooches. So I found this one and it was really cheap. So I went ahead and bought it. But what they hid was the fact that it's chipped there. So there is a lesson that I learned from everybody, which I already knew. But when you um, are, are doing research to price things and you find a piece that is marked or a piece that it's exactly the same brooch, and she had it listed as a round. So I'm not even sure I got the one that was in the picture because it was supposed to be round. But if the price is so much cheaper than everybody else, there's probably a reason. So don't go for the cheapest one because they don't always tell you. And I see, don't you think she should have told me in that ad that the. Oh yeah, that should have been. Different. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't pay that much for it or I would be mad, but that's, that's why sometimes you see stuff. It is marked so much cheaper than everybody else has it listed for. Usually there's a reason. Yeah. And I'm they a full should, disclosure they seller, should say so. that in the ad, but they don't always. Yeah. I'm a full disclosure. I don't like that. Yes. Uh, anytime I list anything, I am totally full disclosure on everything. So my next stuff is from Barbie. This is a beautiful piece, and actually, I turned on my, um, I, let me see how much I paid for this. I don't remember. Oh, wow. Is that all I paid for that? That's a good piece. This is a, oh, gosh, what am I thinking? Chico's piece. Beautiful Chico's on leather cording, sort of a copper color leather cording, and looks to be brass or copper, maybe? Copper. Probably copper mm. findings but i wanted to test this because this actually looks like it could be real jade they do put real stone yeah in they do stuff. use real stone in their pieces but that's why i grabbed it when it was up for auction so let me let me um calibrate my machine here now that it's warmed up and find out if it's actually jade and close well, your eyes, Carolyn. I really like this piece. I will bring this up for auction, Carolyn, as much as I'd love to keep it because it's gorgeous. But, ah, shoot. I just accidentally unplugged my probe. Now I have to let you look at that while I re let my probe again. Wait for the light to come back on. Oops. <laughs> Beautiful piece, though. I'm pretty sure it is jade. It looks like jade rather than glass. And as Kristen said, um, Chico's not a cheap brand. No. Uh, they no, 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 no. use natural stone in their pieces. All right. So I just recalibrated. Let me see if we've got jade here. Oh, darn it, it's not warmed up yet. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, my stepmom always bought at Chico's because she said she didn't know how to design an outfit or curate an outfit, but she could go to Chico's and they would just match everything. <laughs> Okay, my needle is not moving at all on that, so I think I need to calibrate. So it might be glass, but that sure looks like jade to me. So I'm it doesn't going, reflect like glass. So yeah, I'm going to uh, recalibrate my machine here a minute and retest it. But it is um, copper, and it is a beautiful Chico's piece. Either way, though, totally worth what I paid for it for sure. Beautiful piece. Chico's I love, really nice stuff. I love the older Chico's. This is definitely an older Chico's piece and probably a retired Chico's piece. So that will be available for auction and I will on Sunday and I'll know before then whether it's glass or um, actual jade. And looks like she gave me a gift in there. This looks like stone. What is this? I don't know what this is. Hmm. Actually, it's some sort of. Is it lava stone? 
It may be, but I do see a natural hematite in there. And I think it's a couple of different kinds of metal. It actually looked like stone, but it's several different kinds of metal. That's There's cool. Hematite there. Interesting piece, though. Cool. Nice little piece to um, stack with something else. Okay, so a couple of these, are, I'll bring out the rest of the stuff from Barbie. A couple of these pieces, let's see what I got here. I think I showed, I might have brought out in Jen's auction. These are mostly costume here that I'm about to show. This is a designer you don't see much of, John Wind. He is a costume designer. But that is the name on that one. And he does a lot of crown pieces. Oh, I've seen him before. I like, because I like the crown pieces. Yeah. That's who that yeah. is. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure uh, that is, well, I thought that was one of those glass things, but I don't see the, so I don't know what that is. Hold on, let me see if my thing is not testing <laughs> right now, but let me see if it, isn't that how it always goes? <laughs> yeah, it actually goes up to tourmaline, but I suspect that it's glass. But I don't know. It's going above glass, so I'll have to recalibrate and test all these stone pieces because it's not testing accurately right now. Can you see through it if you hold it up to the light? Um, let me see. I'll have to look and see if he... If he uses natural stone or just glass. Yeah, that's true. I have no idea. I just wondered. Oh, I can't can't see because it blinds me. <laughs> I don't <laughs> see the light. But it doesn't look like I can't see through it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, here is a little heart pendant from Barbie's auction. Barbie had some really unique stuff in her auction on Tuesday. Some really cool, unique stuff. So I can't wait to get that. I spent quite a bit in her last auction because I couldn't resist. The, Chico's, the Chico's piece you had up? Yeah. Pat, style with Pat, said that this is an Asian piece. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, it does look like Jane, but um, Jude, or it does look like Jade, but I'm not really sure until I um, recalibrate my machine. I accidentally pulled the probe out while it was on. Whenever you do that, you have to recalibrate the whole thing. So here's a cute little pendant, though, a little heart pendant. This will be a nice giveaway piece. It's one of those side ones like I had. Yeah. I yeah. Like it's, um, They're fun. I like those though. And let's see. Oh, yes, these I love. This, I'm not sure whether these I think came from Cindy Lovin, actually. I don't know if these were from Barbie or Cindy. I've kind of mixed up the bags now. Aren't these beautiful though? Yeah, these are from Cindy Lovin. Those are from Cindy. Yeah. I remember them. Yeah, was it you I fought over with? <laughs> Fought with for these. I know I'm not, I, saying, I'm not saying it was. I'm just saying I remember them. <laughs> I know I fought somebody for these. It was a set. It came with a little pendant, yeah. little turquoise pendant, and the these are um, malachite and mother of pearl. And it looks like let me look here. Can't tell if that is a. It looks like it's got a white stone in there too. Nope, it's Mother of Pearl. I was going to say that one section there looks like right here, but it is Mother of Pearl. It looked more solid white. Aren't those awesome, though? And they these don't look like they're real heavy either. No, no, they're not super heavy, but they're not um, totally lightweight. No, and they're not chintzy. These are actually signed. They do look maybe Zuni inlay. Hmm. Do you have a signature only on one earring, though? 
So I'll have to do a little bit of research, but these are awesome. I paid up. -E but... It says K-E-K -E on that one. K-E-K, yes. I paid up a little for these, but it was worth it. And then she gifted me this charm here. That's kind of cute. A little sterling silver. Oh, it's a bubble charm. Yeah, very cute, isn't um, it? Are there any markings on that? By any um, let's see. It says it says C H A M Cham, hmm. which and then nine two five, which I have had other charms. They make charms kind of like um. Pandora type charms. I have had them with that mark before. I just don't remember the company. And yeah. then of course this cute little pendant. And this is actually VJ and Sterling. This is a little native pendant here too. Yeah, that's that Gilson local. Cute little pendant. It's got a huge um, bail on it for the size of the pendant. <laughs> I but, know, the bail's bigger than the pendant. <laughs> but very cool. This is a really unique looking stone, though. I'm not even sure what that is, but cool. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else from Barbie. Little sterling silver bracelet. This is a small one. Ooh, that is like, tiny. Yeah, it's like a child size. And it does test as sterling. And there is, actually, I didn't think it has a mark, but I see a mark now. Awesome. Yeah, it has a 925 mark, but it's a child's bracelet, like a young girl or boy, I guess. Small. So nice little giveaway piece also. And then, let's see. What yeah, else. that looks like it would be a ring. <laughs> yeah, a ring for some of us, huh? <laughs> and she gave me the, no, this was, I think I want to actually want a giveaway, which was surprising because I never win giveaways, but I did win one of her giveaways. And these I are, know, I love those. Aren't those kind of cool? I like those. I like the wheat the wire wrap on them yeah they're very very cool and they're not as heavy as i thought they were going to be but i love the color these are pretty all right is it shell it's shell right yeah it's shell that's what i thought it's it like was. mother of pearl that has been dyed or, or whatever those are awesome those are spectacular i do like those so nice giveaway gift there from barbie she All right, so now let me show you some of my thrift finds. Oh, this I paid up for. This was that. not a thrift store. This was from a jewelry store. I couldn't resist it. I paid up a little for this, but is this not stunning or what? It's got the, like, cherry red carnelian, and it has the BA mark. Oh. Beautiful huh. piece. Will you flip that back over? It's a okay. native designer, and I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but I love the work from this artist. Um, and you're sure it's carnelian and not garnet? Um, I, I haven't tested it, so oh, it okay. could be, but... Um, oh, it's kind of orange. I can't... It's I'm looking it's, on both my screens to try and figure it out. Um, let me... Well, I don't know if my machine is going to... Hey, you know what it could actually be but i'm not trusting my machine right now it is going to garnet but it is looking sort of like i don't know the reddish brown garnet which is also the same kind of color as the cherry yes. red carnelian so it just was reflecting different and gar garnets reflect different than carnelian so that's i was trying to just beautiful check that piece, before though. you sell it. <laughs> yeah, beautiful piece, though. Gorgeous. That, that, if that's garnet, that's worth more than the carnelian like that. <laughs> but I do like this artist. I, so. That's a nice, heavy, beautiful piece. Oh, yeah, it's very heavy. 
but that I found at a jewelry store. So, what are you going into jewelry stores for? Well, I will just go in once in a while to look at prices to make sure we're not uh, over or under selling our stuff, basically. Yeah. So I kind of try and get an idea of what new stuff, and uh, of course, we're underselling, but I would rather undersell than oversell. Um, yeah, I think we We are very, very, very spoiled with the prices we get on jewelry on YouTube. We seriously are. Even yes, on costumes. people don't realize it. <laughs> yeah, try and buy some of that stuff in a, even the sterling is like crazy. Even a stainless steel sells really high in a jewelry store. It's crazy. It sells for more than we sell sterling for, for sure. I know it has gone up because they're making more and more, um, more pretty stuff with it instead of just functional. Yes. And the, um, Prices of metals are going up constantly too. I'm trying to get the tag off of that, but oh yes. my god, I cut it in the wrong place. If Hold Sterling on. ever goes up that high as it was a few years ago again, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah, I, I know. I remember when it jumped in price there. It significantly it that really, was really hard on Sandy <laughs> for buying Sterling. She was having a hard time getting it there for a while. Okay, so this is actually a legit origami owl piece. Night, Vicky. Hey, See you tomorrow I hope. Good night, darling. This has a and I got to get all that tag off of it, but this does have an origami owl tag on it. Oh, it's black. I love that. Yeah. Uh, it's the first black one I found. You find a lot of these that are fake. So unless it actually has the or origami owl tag, it is not an origami owl. And then they also sign it on the chain to somewhere, I believe. Yeah. I just have the one that I bought when I'm my, okay, now this one doesn't have it on the chain, but um, when my granddaughter yeah, they, was born, I bought one. They usually are signed or a gummy owl somewhere, though, when they are the real thing. But I've the first black one I've seen, so in this, you can, as you know, I'm not going to try and open it now, but you can open them and put new, um, you can change out the or add the charms on it. Yeah, that's. They're fun. They're just not real jewelry. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Um, it's it's generally fake. And that one looks like that. Is that missing a rhinestone? Can't tell there. Or is a it puppy the, and a little boy? It, it's actually the rhinestone fell out and it's right beside it. So <laughs> the rhinestone back in there. It is in there. There it is. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So cute though. I do love the origami owl. I bought them. My one of my son's um, friend's mother was selling them when they oh. first came out. It's kind of like a party sort of thing in the beginning. I don't know how you can get them now, but in the beginning, that's how you how you bought them. Yeah, I got mine. Um, oh, at a place where like an antique mall thing where you have booths. Somebody had a booth. Uh, I really paid up for these. Listener? No, they are um, actually in their older pair of uh, Sarah Coventry. I oh, paid up Sarah for these. Cuz. Yeah. They're, they're, those are probably right after Emmons changed it to Sarah Cuz. Yeah. And I paid up for these. This is more than I've ever paid for a pair of costume jewelry earrings. They do need to that piece right oh. there bent a little. So I haven't yeah. tweaked it, but as you can see, for some reason that is pulled away, but these are glass and these are an older piece of Sarah. Let me see if these have a, they do have a copyright, but I'm guessing these are probably late fifties on this pair. But they're gorgeous, so I couldn't resist. Yeah, I have an Emmons pair that's um, that like those were made after, I think. Yeah, this is a pair that is definitely worth listing. If you I just list. can't. I listed them, but I listed them high because I can't. They're awesome. Yeah, well, Emmons is 
kind of pricey anyway so it's a yeah. it's a more expensive vintage brand yeah emmons actually that's he sold his stuff and then um he didn't have catalogs or anything and then sarah cub became emmons became sarah coventry now i did bring these out in a lot on um jennifer's auction on wednesday but the the lot did not sell, but these was part of that lot. These are new. I just got these two. These are polished out branch coral, the angel hair branch coral. Yep. Those are gorgeous. Yeah. Very nice color on these. And I think these might be, um, let's see what the, there is something on there. These might be gold. Plated. They are marked actually 925 and they do have a maker stamp. It's a star and then 0, 4075NN, something like that. So <laughs> these are Vermeil on the hooks, which I had not really looked at them the other night. So I didn't realize they were, I thought they were just costume hooks, but they are Vermeil hooks. Good thing they uh, didn't sell. <laughs> They are marked, so these are probably worth a little more than I thought they were. But the um, I'll look them up. But the angel skin coral is the most expensive of all of the corals. Yeah, I'm betting it's, those are from Italy. It's the priciest. Yeah, there's a little more writing on there, which I'll have to look at. Yeah, it sounds like Italian writing. <laughs> How they brand their stuff. Okay, let me show you the costume pieces first and then I'll show you the sterling that I found. This week I've already shown, actually I sold a lot of the sterling already at Jim's the other day, but let me show you what I have left. Um, this, I think I had included those together in a lot, but this is um, just a little fetish piece, birds and shell. Oh, yeah, like, those were in a lot. That's pretty Yeah, cool. I think this is olive shell, probably. I don't think those beads are sterling, though. And it just has a barrel clasp on it. So just a cute little fetish piece. And I had a whole bunch of brooches, costume brooches, but they all sold but this one. And I think I'm going to put this in as a gift to whoever bought that lot because I was looking for this to include it and couldn't find it at the time. Is that, zig, is that zigzag one labeled or signed? No, I thought it was a Monet, but it is not labeled. I don't see a mark on it anywhere. Sarah and did, Trafari did that, that too. Yeah, yeah, it's in excellent condition. So I think that's going to go in with whoever bought that lot from me of brooches on Wednesday. It'll go in as a gift. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's in great shape. Now, this I bought because I don't usually pick up these type of necklaces, but this one was pretty, so I grabbed it. And it's got little carnelian chips on it. That one and is it, pretty. That's different than they usually. I have tons of those, different ones. But yeah, tons. The, the hematite. Yeah, and fake hematite, but I thought this one was cute, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's very delicate, very feminine looking. So that will make a great gift for somebody, too. I think, is it Raven that collects hematite? Somebody does. I'm not sure. I um, can't remember. Maybe it was somebody else. Quite often. Let's see, what am I looking for? I have a, where is it? I don't know. Here it is. So this piece actually sells for $80 new, and they're selling around $40 um, used. It's, uh, the brand is uh, Luna Norte. Oh, my goodness. I have one. They're, oh, mine um, is almost, a, okay, yours has got the, what, okay, yours has the Druzy. Right, and it's the, and then it's. 14 carat or 12 carat. I can't remember. I think it's 14 carat. The plating on these is 14 carat. Yes. Oh, it may be higher than that even. I can't remember, but I have yeah. one and it's the Labradorite. It's just like that only Labradorite. Yes. Yep. 
Exactly. So, but I was surprised how much these sell for new. The Luna Norte stuff is kind I of. I could not believe it. Kind of pricey. Yes. So good brand to watch out for, guys. When you see that Luna Norte, it is um, at least 14 or 18 carats gold plated, even though it's not marked. It is. I got it. Of course, I got a got a knot in it already. I need to get out. But that's what their tag looks like. So watch for that one because it is a pricey brand. It is, and, guys. It's a really good one. And it's one you can list pretty high still. You can list that for 40 to 50. Here I also found some um, rose quartz. It's not super dark. All you can see, some of it is fairly pale. Some of it's a little darker, but I always grab rose quartz when I see it because even if you don't like it like this, um, crafters buy it to reuse. So. I can find it at a good price. I grab it and put it in a lot of stone. Okay, this is, I can't remember what brand this one is. Let me see. Oh, this is Jones of New York. Also a pricey brand. When I buy, because I can't, I just, you can't find jars or bags or any of that in my area. Very rarely now. So most of the costume I buy, I buy per piece from the case. And I usually will only buy the higher end brands that are in good shape. And this is Jones of New York, which is also a pricey costume brand. A newer brand, but uh, it's not a vintage brand, but it is a pricier brand and it is in really good condition it actually holds up fairly well too yeah it does it's a pretty piece it's um that'll be a good piece for somebody yes very nice piece for gifting too so gorgeous piece because you guys know mostly i sell sterling i don't do a whole lot of costume on our channel but usually when i do i try to stick to the higher brands or i put it in a lot this I bought because I thought these were actual pearls, but I'm not so sure now. I think they're fake. I'll have to check it out closer. And I thought this was signed, but maybe I... No, I, I don't think it is signed. But it's got some really cool beads on it. They're all glass beads. And I just thought it was a pretty piece. The colors Is it a pretty. bracelet or a necklace? It's a bracelet. I thought it had a tag on it, but I'm not seeing a tag now, so it must have been. Um, I yeah, imagine that's, that's a Leah Sophia or a, a Premier Designs. Kind of does look like something Leah Sophia would do. I can't remember, but I've seen that necklace and, and that because I like those colors. Yeah, I do like the colors. And these beads here, actually. Hi, Raven. These look like they could be an agate of some kind. They've got some banding in them. But they are all glass anyway, and they really did look like pearls, but I'm not so sure they're actual pearls now. I'll check it out closer later. <laughs> Anyways, great for gifting, that kind of stuff. And in my last piece of costume, let's see, how much did I pay for this? Yeah. So this is still in a price range that I can gift it, but it's a nice piece. And let me get rid of this tag in the way here. Where is the, okay, there it is. All right, this is a necklace, actually, and it's got some beautiful crystals on it, and it is a loft piece, so this will be a beautiful gift, too, for somebody. Beautiful necklace, though. So that's, that's Ann Taylor. Feminine. Yeah. Very feminine piece. And I do like Loft. Loft is another one of those yeah. kind of pricey new brands that are kind of pricey. Yeah, it's Ann Taylor, and she just did the Loft, and it's good stuff. 
Yeah. She's gorgeous. A good One of the ends. Nice little feminine piece. All I right. like Oh, look at those little things hanging the, down, too. <laughs> sterling I found this week in different spots. This came from, I think CHKD is where I got this piece. Just a little sterling silver rose with, um, oh. it's got diamond cutting on it. That so, was all the rage in like. I remember. The early 2000s? <laughs> yeah, could be worn as a pendant or as a charm either way cute little rose though okay i love this piece this is gorgeous let me get it out of the bag i hate at this particular store they put these stupid tags whenever it's a pair they put those plastic tags and hook them together and they're a pain to get apart beautiful piece though on this Ooh. It has amethyst. I don't think so. I'm going to have to test it when my machine is calibrated. It is when marked. it's not mad at you. <laughs> yeah, when it's not mad at me. For taking its tip off. <laughs> it really does not like it when you, um, and this might be. Oh, you got it marks. Yeah. AU copyright 925. Beautiful piece, though, and I'm not sure, like I said, I'll have to test to see if that is glass or CZs or some sort of stone. What's the AU mean? I don't remember. I don't know if that's Austria or something else, but the way those... Oh, Austria. I think yeah. you're right. And the that way means those... it's crystals. Yeah, the way their crystals are set in there really leads me to believe that it could be the Austrian crystals. But beautiful, and it came with this pair of earrings. So what's the um, clasp look like on it? Um, it has a, actually it has a name on the chain. Let's see what it says. Says I'm a loved. I'm a loved. I A M loved. Don't know what that means. That must be the brand. There is a so, brand that's named that. So but I'll have to look. It's not that usually up. stuff like this. I'm not even sure whether this chain is sterling or not. I'll have to test it. But the pendant itself is marked, so we'll yeah, the pendant up. is definitely. And I haven't looked at this stuff up close yet. And the earrings are marked 925 on those, so those do look like beautiful Australian crystals, though they really do. Yeah, they do. It's actually very pr pretty, very sparkly. So it's I will test all of that. <laughs> up for auction but there you go that was one of the pieces i found this week you got a busy day tomorrow <laughs> i do i've got to test all this sterling before sunday uh, and i found another set i sold one of the sets i found yesterday or not yesterday but wednesday i sold one of the sets i found the pearls I found all of those the same time, um, but this is gorgeous. This is Vermeil. It's not a gorgeous set. Oh wow! These big old hoops here. Oh yeah, who may are those chocolate diamonds? I don't know if they are or not. I haven't tested them yet. They are the right color, but these again could be the Austrian crystals again. I'll have to test it. Let me see how it's marked. That's those are very pretty. That's a very beautiful set, no matter what it's what it, it turns out. This has got a whole bunch of marks on it. Hmm. But the way they're stamped, it's hard to read. It's got a bunch <laughs> of marks along there. 
that is not helpful. <laughs> no. And then it has OTC Italy. So this is Italian, basically. OTC Italy right there. Oh, well, then that's, you have a better chance of them not being crystal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'll test all of that later. But the earrings are gorgeous. Let me see if they have the Italian mark on them, too. I like it. Is it like enameling in between? Okay, these or? say 18 karat gold electroplate. Um, BZ OTC so these are 18 karat plated and I think yeah uh, these may just be 18 karat electroplated these may not even be sterling but the either way they're gorgeous I'll test everything though but it is Italian so not sure if it's for me or not at this point. I think that's a good buy no matter what it turns out. That, they're very pretty. Yeah, gorgeous piece. D the design of them is very nice. Beautiful. The earrings are nice though. I love the I love the hoops on the earrings. Yes. I was kind of in a little bit of a hurry to get home for this auction when I bought all this stuff. So I'm really checking it now. Well, that stuff I just showed closely for the first time. Okay, so this is another thrift store piece. I'm going to test this because this toggle looks like it might be an actual sterling toggle. Just stone. These are, I'm not sure on that. It's beautiful. It's gray and white. Ooh, I like that. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is, but it does look like it's got white quartz in it. Almost looks like the silver sheen obsidian a little bit, but I don't really know. So I'm not sure. Then it's got the snowflake obsidian. I'm going to test this toggle because it looks like it might possibly be sterling, but I'm not certain on that. And I don't know about the bigger beads, but it is snowflake obsidian on the smaller ones. So kind of cool. This is beautiful, whatever this is, though. Yes, so it's very nice. Gorgeous stone. Pretty. So I'll check that out closer. And, okay, I think I have one more pair of earrings that came from the thrift store, Sterling. The rest of it I sold at the rest of the Sterling I found that night. I sold already at Jen's auction. <laughs> You're gonna, you got to restock. <laughs> yes. And these are FAS, or nine, not FAS, 925, and then the initials SA on these. These are cute, though. I like these. Oh, I recognize SA. I don't remember, though. I do like that style, though, of hoop. They're cute. Okay, now this stuff is all came from... Oh, wait a minute. This came from the same store. I sold a lot of this stuff I bought um, this week at Jen's auction, actually. This I offered, but nobody took me up on it. This is Isabella. M, a new piece, sterling silver, and it is vermeil. And this is what I was talking about. Like sometimes on the vermeil, you can see it signed right there. On the vermeil, on some of the older stuff, especially, you can see the silver tarnish through the gold plating. I know. Isn't that and weird? Yeah, it gets that bluish, and I almost hate to clean it because it is so beautiful. When I like the tarnish. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, so I really hate to even touch it when it's tarnished that way, but this is a really pretty piece. And let me see what it actually says on it. I just saw a mark somewhere on there. It has the N inside a square. Almost well, more like a like a baseball diamond shape with an N in it. And I've had other pieces with that same mark, but I've never looked it up. So now I know 
that it is, that is the brand, Isabella. <laughs> I have to write that down because I do find pieces with that same mark. Um, yeah. Beautiful piece. And then it's marked 925 on top of that. But very pretty snowflake. Somebody collects snowflakes. I can't remember who it is, which is why I grabbed this. Uh, um, good night, Elizabeth. I will see you tomorrow night. We'll probably need your help this weekend. We'll let you know. Good night, Elizabeth. But I cannot remember who it is that collects snowflakes, but I bought this with you in mind. So um, it doesn't mean you have to buy it, but I just can't remember who it is that collects snowflakes. I don't remember. Okay, so I did sell, I did find a um, nine to, no, a 14 karat white gold ring that I sold at Jen's auction which was beautiful, but that's so this is Israeli pendant here. This is Israeli silver. And it has the initials PZ, which I'll have to do a little research. It's got the gold flakes inside the, um, I don't know, what do you call those things that they use to rise stones up inside the, triplets yeah this feels like a glass it's a actually glass instead of the resin that you will often find and it's faceted it's it so, may be quartz they yeah use quartz. It, may, it may may possibly be a quartz cab but i know that is gold flake inside there but a beautiful pendant yes it is and israeli silver is always very well done and i have seen this pz mark before so if anybody yeah, it's like knows, aura pause or something yeah if you recognize that pz mark let me know and save me some research how are you miss isabel but beautiful pendant though i love israeli silver um, and raven said i think makeup zombie collects snowflakes is it her that collects them i cannot remember i know she collects dragons too but i grabbed it just because i knew it was something somebody was interested in okay so almost done here guys i got a couple more pieces let me make sure i did not you miss have got to come packages up. anywhere oh and I sold, I had three rings that I found with this same lot here that I'm showing, but I sold two of them already. One was the um, sapphire, the pink sapphire and a blue sapphire, actually four rings, a blue sapphire. And oh, yeah, I remember those from James. Yeah, those all came from the same lot. This right here needs a cleanup, as you can see. This was totally black when I found it, which tells me it doesn't have any kind of rhodium plating on it. And it is marked 925, and this does test as topaz, as blue topaz. And I remember right, the stones were white sapphires, but I'll test those again to make sure. But nice, um, nice. It looks like a natural piece of blue topaz, too. I like the setting on that. That's very pretty. Yeah, nice. it looks older, doesn't it? It looks like yeah. a vintage setting, sort of. It is marked 925, but I'm guessing. I don't know when they started the 925 mark, but it sort of looks 60s on the setting, 60s, 70s. This beautiful piece of turquoise, gorgeous piece, gorgeous color on this. And this is unmarked. I think this is a... Um, Another piece of old pawn. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like the back. <laughs> Another piece of old pawn. And this looks like it also has a high copper content, too. So I'm going to test this and make sure it's a 925. But it does look... Um, now that I know sometimes guys that looks to you like it is verdigris, but it is not verdigris. Um, it it happens. does not vertigree. Yeah, it happens from the copper content. Sometimes if you find a piece that has that sort of green. Yeah, that's a patina on it. And that's yeah. okay. Um, don't freak out and throw it away thinking that it's vertigree and that it's going to ruin the rest of your jewelry. No, go ahead and test it because chances are it probably is sterling. But I believe that to be old pawn. It's not the same color as verdigris either. If you find it, you'll see what I mean. 
it's a patina. It's like um, what the Statue of Liberty has on her. Yes, kind of like that. Okay, this is a sterling bracelet. This is a weighty piece, too. It's got a toggle. And let's see what the tag says on this. Ooh, that's my kind of bracelet. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty hefty bracelet here. And it is RGN India 925. So it's an India piece. Which kind of makes sense. They do like little dingle dangles on their jewelry, but really nice. Um, I guess charm bracelet, you would call that? Yes. Pretty piece, though. Very nice piece. And I'll have a weight and length and all that for you guys at auction. But that's a that's at least a half ounce on that one, maybe more. Nice, nice, nice. This was probably one of my favorite pieces I found this week. I believe this to be carnelian. I'm not sure, though. I think it's carnelian. I will test it and see. But it, It's carved. Yeah, it's a reverse carved piece. It is stone. I'm just not sure what stone yet. I'm guessing carnelian by the color. And it is a brooch slash pendant, but beautiful piece. Kind of a reverse cameo. Yeah, that's probably old. Yeah, this would make a beautiful ring, too. Ooh, it would. Yeah, the, the, the construction, everything on this looks older. And if I remember right, it's not marked anywhere. And that the which, back of it would be easy to add a shank to. Yeah, the construction, everything on this kind of makes it, it sort of looks like older piece, for sure. Beautiful, though. Just gorgeous. He's a little polishing, but it's beautiful. Yeah, that, that is. <laughs> and I found two of these, these pieces, these San Marco bracelets. Oh, the San Marcos, yep. Yeah, they list high. And particularly when you find them with the older style clasp on it like this. Yes. This is a vintage one, but they... How Italian craftsmanship at its finest. Yes, they are. And they're very popular for some reason. They sell high and they sell quickly. So when you find this link, ladies, go for it. It's a, it's considered a um, designer link or a upper yeah. class link. Because and it originally was only done in gold. And this is uh, 950. And it is Mylar, Italy. Oh, that's a good one, guys. Yeah, this is a really nice one. Got some good weight to it. And then, check this out. No, you're making us crazy. <laughs> this has the same style of clasp on it. And oh, look at that. See. It's Vermeer. Yeah, this one is Vermeer. It's the first Vermeer one I found. But look how hefty this one is. This one is huge. And is it marked too? Um, I believe this one is marked okay. Italy also. Let's see what it has. It has the older vintage style clasp on it. And oh, that's it awesome. Is, oh, it's huge. Yeah, this one just says 925 Italy on it. I wonder if that's one of the QVC ones. And it says QG right there. So I'm guessing that is the maker's initials, but QG right there. But this is a nice hefty one. Oh, definitely. It's gorgeous. I'll weigh this too. I'm guessing this is probably <laughs> an ounce on this one or close to it, but it's a lot. <laughs> nice find on that one. Happy to find that one. Always grab the San Marco when I find them. Okay, so now this is amazing. This is definitely an old pawn piece I'm pretty sure on this one let me see if I see any marks at all other than the chain I think I saw it was not, good even sure. old pawn. not even sure if it is the original chain um I don't know if somebody just found these conchos and made a necklace out of it but oh my gosh that's amazing. gorgeous 
I wonder if it was, oh, no, I don't know. Gorgeous piece, though. Yeah. I think it says Kristen on it. <laughs> all sterling chain and all that there are no marks anywhere. So I don't know if this is an old pawn piece again. I bet it is. Oh, let me see the back. You can... Yeah, even the leaves, nothing. Yeah. You know, they even the leaves don't have a mark on them, but none of the separate components are marked. Yeah, it's a assembly piece. So that is a pawn. That's awesome. These conchos by themselves usually sell pretty high. Does the bail fold down on this, Kristen or Caroline, or are you talking about this one? Does the ball bail fold down? Yes, it does. And it is always a plus when the bail folds down. I hate when they don't add that. So you can't, it's, you can see it when you wear it as a brooch if they don't make that bolt bail so it folds down. So that is my last piece for the night, guys. Let me look behind me and make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I showed it all. My lips are getting chapped from talking so much. Yeah, I think I let me make sure I got all these packages empty. Yep, I think that is everything for the night. So I do have some new stuff for this weekend, even though I did not get my usual silver order in time. I probably won't get that in time. They'll like 400 grams I usually get for my auction every week. But yeah, I will have it for next week. So I'm going to, that'll be here in time. But I went out and bought all this stuff because I knew I wasn't going to get my other lot in time. <laughs> oh, you're not fooling us. We know you would have bought it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> So, Kristen, you got, I see you have some other pretties out there you want to show us. Oh, I did. I just had a question for people about reserve carb. Thank you. Reverse carb. Yes. Thank you. It, it, yes, Caroline. That's that's the word I was looking for. Reverse carb. Sorry, I was sorting. <laughs> um, this is an all glass piece, and it is amazing, guys. It is, look at these little pieces. I've tried to see. I've got a lag on one of my. Hands. All right, now I can talk to you guys while uh, she's showing. Do you see the? They're That's birds. Gorgeous. Yes, I have two pieces like this. One of them's a blue one, and this is the pink one. I didn't know if this is something that I'm going to bring it out. But if you're not interested in it, that's okay. That I'm, looks like the. That looks old, but those look. Um, that really reminds me, what are the beads called? The uh, lampwork beads. It almost looks like they were done kind of like lampwork beads. Yes. Done. And they're each, each of them has, what's really cool about them is they're each wired themselves. Each one of them has a wire inside it. I Very mean, this cool. Was, so. And that's amazing that those hummingbirds, are those hummingbirds or birds? I just hummingbirds? think they're cute little, I don't know. Look at they them. They still there. have their beaks and their tails. How cool. Yeah, there's a couple missing, but not, I mean, it's not perfect, but it is vintage. <laughs> yeah, um, that looks pretty old. Yeah, it is. Um, but yes, I this piece is amazing to me. I found it. And there's two other pieces that came like in a set they were all done by the same person she does have a couple of pieces of poison a carolyn and i did have a um asian piece a i know that's your main interest i have a chico's asian piece that i'm going to bring up and carolyn had some poison a pieces I'll hold on carolyn i'll grab the other one i'll flip and show you mine while she's grabbing hers this is a chico's piece and I have to test this to see if it's jade or glass, but, I mean, it's on a leather cord. It's an older um, Chico piece and the uh, metal is oh. copper. And it's probably a retired Chico's, I'm guessing. 
but I don't know um, what that stone is. It certainly looks like real jade, even if it's glass. Nobody would ever know. Hmm. So yeah. that's my Asian piece that I will bring out this week. And Carolyn on Sunday. Kristen will be on tomorrow night. So I have this egg, Carolyn. And I don't know much about it because I haven't had it very long, but it is beautiful, I think. And I have a little chain that goes with it. She likes all Asian and all, she likes the Siam stuff too. Oh, I've got a bunch of Siam yeah. pieces. And she loves Cloisonne. This piece is really cool. older Cloisonne. And then I have this beautiful bracelet that has minimal to nowhere. And it's not done sloppy. Oh, you got to show her that little world, um, that little globe, because that's kind of up this? her alley, too. That may be something she would have interest in. The globe. Oh, the with globe. The, um, lapis uh -huh. inlay. Let me see. I hung it up. It's right here. That might be something that would um, she would actually be interested in, too. It sort of has the cloisonne kind of look to it. It's it's all inlaid with, 14, I think it's 14 karat gold. I have to bring my notes in. It's 14 or 18. It's got lapis and jasper. Bring it and over to the right a little bit. You're kind of to the corner of your screen. The oh, Your other right, I guess. Your <laughs> left, my right. <laughs> and then down. It's I inlaid moved. stone, though. Isn't that beautiful, Caroline? Yeah. Thank you, Isabel. And there was one more piece, Carolyn, but I was putting stuff up and I don't know where I put it. It's a little pin. It's from the 80s. It has um, a butterfly on it. Caroline wants to know on the egg, are the cloisonne, is it bent wire or chain? Is it bent wire or what? Chain. Hmm. Well, that's going to take a little loop. <laughs> Just a second, my dear. You know um, how when they do cloisonne, they lay the wire down first and then they fill it in yeah. with um, glass or whatever they're using. I took a class on it. <laughs> Guessing that's not the easiest thing to make correctly. Um, Carolyn, it is actually wire. It's twisted wire. Caroline said that globe is exactly her cup of tea. She owns it from 25 years ago. I Have knew you looked up like the that. prices of that globe, Caroline? <laughs> They're amazingly priced right now. But yeah, I'm glad. No, it isn't chain. It is um, twisted wire. Twisted wire, it's probably older. Is that is the stuff that actually has the twisted wire opposed to chain, Caroline? Is that older? Is this gonna help at all? I don't know what happened to my lighting. I will start looking at that stuff with my loop to figure it out when I purchase it. Yeah, no, that's twisted wire. It's beautiful. And I have some cyan pieces, Carolyn. And like I said, I have a couple more. There's a cyan piece. I think Caroline is the only one who fights me for the cloisonne. So <laughs> I let her win. She lets me win sometimes. <laughs> or not the cloisonne, but the uh, cyan. If my post office delivers what they're supposed to, I should have three or four more pieces of white and black tomorrow or gray. And there, I have fine Nigello, N Nigello, Siam. Um, Carla yeah. wants to know, are you asking on um, the reverse cameo, the reverse card piece, if it's goldish brown or it's more reddish brown? I think this is carnelian if you're asking about mine, but I'm not 100% certain. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a nice bracelet. I haven't found too many of the clamper style bracelets like that. Yeah, I'll open it. There we go. 
the two that I have, I know were old because I got them when I was like maybe six or five, between five and seven years old. I don't know for sure, but I know for sure those are older. And they were old when my stepfather bought them. They were um, vintage, or probably vintage or antique at the time. He got them from a um, an antique store when he bought them. So I have no idea how old these are, but they were not new when I got them. Is that in the picture or out of the picture? In. Stop wiggling. And I'm like almost 62 years old so i've had them for a while you can see the druzy inside this stone oh those the sarah coventries they're a reddish brown sort of a reddish goldish sort of these these I are what you're talking about. This one. <laughs> my lag uh, is so bad <laughs> i can send you i'll send you a picture of these carla so you can compare them to what you have and i will fix that carefully so that it's where it should be but they're kind of almost a goldish they're gorgeous brown but yeah these are beautiful and they are glass as opposed to acrylic stones in them they're they're gorgeous now i've never paid that many that much for a pair of i mean they weren't like ridiculous but i never paid that much for a single pair of earrings at a thrift store before <laughs> Okay, so we're done for the night, huh? These are a few of my pearls. I think I, these were marked $12.99 and they were 25% off. So if you're interested in those, Carla, just let me know. I'll send them to you at price. And if that's the color you're looking for, Carla, I have a pair of Emmons like that I can get out and show you tomorrow if you want oh wow that's gorgeous yeah my gym tester broke and i lost my diamond tester so i can't i think that's a diamond in in this pearl i can't remember i'll have to see if i can find it's a beautiful color it's kind of a champagne yeah it's a champagne one and it's set in gold but yeah it's look at that oh. The pearl essence is awesome. And then I love this piece. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, whoever made it. When I brought out that ring, that uh, Iowa pearl ring. Yeah. That thing, there was a war on that. That thing ended up selling. But it was a blue-gray sort of color. That thing yeah, was I have some of those. I have some of those, too. I, um, oh, yeah, did I you put the bail on it while we were here? Huh? Is that the one you still needed to put the bail on it? Yeah, while you were talking and doing you stuff, I finished it. While we were talking, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful though. That's why my fingers are always dirty. I'm digging in my stuff, and yeah, here's a. Okay, bye bye, guys. You're a little off center. Come back more towards your left again. There you go. There's your center. You might want to Oops. mark that tomorrow. That's upside. Oh, that's gorgeous. So those are kind of peachy and then there's um a smoke color um swarovskis and then everything's sterling beautiful so yeah i i will never not pick up bwa pearls if yeah same here i grab them whenever i see them they are my favorites and those are a beautiful color they're kind of a champagne color too are you said peachy yeah yeah i think they're more peachy than champagne I think Pat loves those kind of pearls too. Pat loves pearls in general, but I think that's something that Pat would like. Is she still here? Um, I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, that might be. There might be a little war Thanks, on that Carolyn. one. Yes, I know a lot of you. the ladies love those pearls. I am a pearl girl. I have lots of them that I've made made myself or bought. <laughs> They are my faves. All right, ladies. So is that, if that's everything, um, Kristen, you have anything else you want to show? Uh, no. I have no. so much more. It would take hours. 
Okay, so well, you've got a good idea of the kind of stuff you're going to see at auction tomorrow with um, Kristen and Christina will be here. She always has a lot of vintage and she has a lot of older sterling silver she always brings too. So, and if there's will... anything you want to see, guys, I have so much more than what I even. I have earrings and bracelets and rings and all of it. <laughs> Yeah, should be a fantastic auction. And as I tell all of my sellers, and I will repeat it again every time we're live, that if at any time, and my sellers all know this too, that if the buyer is not happy for any reason, yep. no questions asked, we refund the money and that's it. So there is your guarantee that if you... Um, for some reason you get something and it's not represented correctly or it's just not what you thought it was. It's damaged in some way, whatever. Um, we refund, no questions asked. And um, so you can feel confident when you buy on this channel that you're not going to get ripped off. Yep. I've been selling um, jewelry since I was 16 and I've done it in my own shop and other people's shops. I've done repairs and I do them at repairs now still. I took silversmithing classes in high school. That was in the 80s and then in college in the early 90s. So I've been doing this a long time and I definitely want satisfied clients because those are the clients that come back and those are the clients that get me more sales. I don't think so. Um, Raven, let me, let me look though. I am not sure now. Caroline, you're right. They weren't um, good back. I'm old too. Um, I still collected them. That's why I have so many now is because they weren't popular then. And I loved them. And now that you can't afford them. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, Raven. I'm looking at my tracking info to see what address it went to. Wow. Cindy Levins has not been delivered yet. Dang, that's taken a long time. Um, if you just bought that this past Sunday, it hasn't been shipped yet. Let me see. Yeah, she said she was doing invoices. Um, Wednesday stuff is going to get invoiced tonight and all of the Sunday stuff will be shipped out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but I am not seeing where I shipped anything to you yet. So let me go back and look and see if yours shipped out yet. And go back through it slowly. Here's a beautiful stone. While she's doing that, you guys can look at this stone. Yeah, I don't think it's shipped yet. It'll ship out tomorrow. Um, uh, let me look and make sure I don't have a P.O. box for you, though. I hit my camera there. It stopped. Oh, nope, I don't have a P.O. box for you, Raven. So, um Everything is chestnut. I won't give any more of your address than that, but chestnut, if that's correct, that's what everything goes to. Yeah, I, yeah, the invoice has been paid and it'll ship out in the morning. But I'm pretty sure it did not go. I don't even have a P.O. box for you, so I'm sure nothing went to a P.O. box. Let me look in my box, though. I've got some stuff that I just packaged that's going to ship out in the morning. And let me see if what your label says. You guys, when I said I had a lot, <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I had a bead and jewelry store for two years. And when I closed it, 
I sold off some of it, but most of it just came with me to my house. <laughs> nope, Raven, it has that, that address for the chestnut. Is that where you want it to go? Okay, yeah. Nope, I don't even have a P.O. box listed for you, so we're safe. Wow, let me see those. These are all different stones that I have. I love the snowflake obsidian. It's such a pretty stone. Yes. What's I that? I them in little oh, circles, is. too. Is that um, petrified wood on the left, all the way to the left? Yes, I believe it is. Beautiful. I'm gonna, I, I'm going to say I'll double check my um, stuff, but there's the other side of it. It is gorgeous. Cool. And that and I blue love one on the wood. right, is that also petrified wood? The blue one all the way to the right, the teardrop shape? We this, have is, this is dyed agate. You can That's see. gorgeous. Isn't that, that like, awesome? Yeah, that looks like petrified wood too there. It is just the most beautiful piece. That's a gorgeous thing. I just put a bale on it. I had him drill a hole and put a bale on it instead of... Um, framing it out i've got some sterling silver bells like that that um were in a jar or a bag or something that i got had a bunch of those type of sterling silver bells in it oh yes i use them a lot to make my stones look pretty <laughs> which i like more than the leaf type that they just glue on i don't like that leaf one that they glued on i got this in a box actually from but beautiful stone, though. A jewelry. Oh, and then I'm going to move this one out because this thing is huge. Look, this is a piece of mother of pearl. Oh, wow. And That's it's a cool. chunk. It is huge. I got that big giant pearl that I put out several times and no one has been interested in it. What is it? Let me see. There's definitely a lag on my part. <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen that one. I brought it out several times. It's not set in sterling. I think it's pewter. I'm not sure what that. I have it on a sterling chain, but I think that's pewter. I'm not really sure, but it's gorgeous. One side of it is not as, um, it doesn't oh, wow. have the kind of luster on it that the other side does, but it's a beautiful. Well, beautiful. I will take that if you're. It's huge, though. It's a huge pearl. Yeah, I will take that. <laughs> See how thick that is? Yeah, and I will wear that. <laughs> it's gorgeous, though. I will put beads together, like a rosary chain or something. Yeah, I think this part of it is sterling, but I think this is um, either lead or... It looks either. like somebody made it from with um, lead caning from... Yeah, like you would make some... What's it called? Uh, Stained glass, glass windows. windows. <laughs> yeah, I'll test it um, to make sure. I yeah, not just let me know what you want Because it didn't look for sterling. But whatever I put it out for, um, if you don't want the chain, I can do even better than whatever that Yeah, I was. don't need a chain. All right. Well, it's yours then. I have, I collect chains. It's a beautiful <laughs> pearl though, but I put it out a couple of times. Oh, yeah, I, I have never seen it, so. in it. Like I said, the one side is not got much luster to it. It's um, yeah, that's polished, how it's supposed like, to be, though. Like maybe they damaged it with some kind of cleaner or something. Cleaner, but yep. You can polish <laughs> it out. Well, people don't do that to your stones. I know with pearls. Yeah, you have to be careful with cleaners and pearls. Yes. That one's pretty too with the wrap there. I like that one. And you can see the druzy in it. Yeah, I was just saying it looks like it's got some jewelry in it. And I actually have, but it's in my buried in my jewelry box. I have a piece of malachite that has oh. that that sort of nodules and druzy in it. Oh no, that's awesome. Yeah, I have chains, Cindy. I don't <laughs> Yeah. I love uh, change. <laughs> stay here. I have this many just on the Omegas. <laughs> oh, those are all omega. Well, a couple of them are flat, but yeah, I have a herringbone I'm bringing tomorrow. Those are all different kinds of omegas. There, even got one in rose gold and a couple in gold. I have a gold and silver one. It's reversible. So I have tons of those. I need chains, though. I need to. 
I'm waiting for Roberta. She usually orders chains for both of us. I'm waiting for her to do a chain order because I need chains really bad right now. I'm short on chains. Yeah, I found this herringbone. Yes, Kristen is on tomorrow night, guys, because Roberta is traveling. And so she won't be home in time for us to do our auction tomorrow night. So we're going to, so that she's not tired and we want her to be rested we're going to do ours on sunday she will probably be in the auction saturday but I um, hope so. she's going to be she's going to be tired and worn out so we're switching nights we're letting Kristen and christina do tomorrow night and then we're going to do sunday same time though 7 30 eastern uh um 6 30 central oh those are beautiful yes they're yeah. very they're really good. Wow, set. it's all even and yeah, this is nicely matched pearls. Yeah, this is an expensive set, but I also have a black Hernora one I'm bringing out tomorrow too. Yeah, that's an example of a higher end set of pearls. There, guys, when they're that evenly matched in color and size, and they don't have a lot of ripples and. So here, let me get there. all the crap out of the way, so you don't have to look at that. So you there's those, there's those pearls. And they look like that. And then here's the one that they set in gold with a diamond. And you can see the colors the same. And the luster is the same. Yep. And if I had a cheaper set of pearls right now to show you the difference in front of me, I would. Oh, no, I don't think I have any right in front of me. I don't have any pearls right now. I usually have tons of pearls, but right now I don't really have any pearls. That's weird. Just really. No. The only pearls I have in front of me are um, glass. So that wouldn't be a good example. But I can bring a set tomorrow with me. But glass pearls are really nice, too. Yeah, I have a. I have a Ralph Lauren set of pearls that is gorgeous. Yeah, when you buy um, higher end faux pearls, like designer, different high yeah. end designers, what you want to look for is that the, um, the what do you want to call it? The, um, the luster is on the inside of the glass and that it's not been um, laminated on the outside. Because those will virtually last you forever. You won't get any um, pilling or lose your luster yeah. on them. And that's what I look for when I pick up glass pearls in a thrift store or something. I look that the luster is on the inside of the glass and not a laminate on the outside. Yeah, that fine pearl is in there with the other pearls and you can almost not tell whether they are. Exactly. They look very real when they do the glass pearls with it, the yeah. luster on the inside of the glass. They look very real. So, yeah. No, I have tons of pearls. I have fake pearls and faux pearls because <laughs> there's a difference. And then I have um, good ones and then I have real ones. <laughs> and, and this gorgeous. I got to quit looking at this moonstone piece. I'm almost I love it. Right. And it's set in copper, which is. I nice. know, right? I'm almost talking myself out of selling it. I got to quit looking at it. <laughs> I really like it set in that copper. It, it makes the flashes are different colors, you know? Yeah. But I got to sell it. I paid <laughs> up for that lot. So I, I have a really it. pretty, well, uh, it's interesting copper bracelet that I made out of copper and sterling. I do like my copper though. I do too. I've always, um, I, I use copper, brass and sterling together. Those, that's my favorite type of jewelry to do. Yeah. Raven that have a little bit of, um, a little bit of character in them too. You yeah. like the Baroque. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like the Baroque and the um, Biwa is because they have that character in them. Yeah. Like that. And they're just gorgeous. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are. I like the glass pearls, but I have so many pearls that I don't. I don't find them that often, but when I do find them, I end up giving a lot of them to Vicki or I put them up for auction. I need to uh, actually save some for myself, but I always end up sharing them. I always end up selling them. Yeah, part of the history of pearls is that every um, Jackie Kennedy made them very um, popular, made it the it thing, and everyone had to get pearls. Well, hers were fake, and no one knew that. 
at the time, but that's all she all she had real pearls at the end of her life, but all she wore were her fake pearls. Well, I mean, pearls can go for tens of thousands of dollars. Some of the vintage antique pearls, yes. they can go for thousands. Yes. I'm not talking hundreds. I'm talking thousands on real pearls. They're a real pair, a set of real pearl necklace that they pulled out of the ocean or whatever. I mean, you could pay $10,000 for those. Yeah. Easily. Oh, Caroline, I have a bunch of Baroque pearls, different strands and such. I'll have to see if I can find them for tomorrow. They're stunning. I am a pearl. I, am, I love I pearls, but I, am, even I, wear, I wear pearls. I'll wear them every day. Every once in a while, I'll even find a beautiful Baiwa or Baroque pearl set in a costume piece, too. Yes, um, the Zapata piece, uh, one of the Zapata pieces I have has some Baroque pearls in it. It's all, it's like um, quartz and agate, but it has, it has some Baroque pearls in it. Yeah, um, Zapata and test those because those may be quartz if it's Zapata. It, it's, it's agate, quartz, and um, glass, and then pearls and um, sterling silver. You can almost look and see which ones are quartz. They're kind of got a yellow look to them almost. Oh, yeah. You can tell the difference between the glass and the quartzes. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it because they're all different cuts. Very sparkly. That's the kind of um, silpata I like, the older pieces. Yes, this is an older piece. Oh, I like blister pearls too, Raven. I do have a couple of brooches with blister pearls in them. Do you have any of the Marvella pearls? I do have some Marvella pearls, yes. Those I, are some of the finest um, faux pearls that were made at the time. Yes, I have some Marvella pearls. I have never, um, I've never found any. You've never found any Marvella? No, I haven't. And it's had crushing to my soul. <laughs> Cindy, get with Cindy Lovin. She had a pair of Marbella pearl earrings the other day that didn't sell at auction. Oh, really? I must have missed yeah. it. Yeah, because I, um, it crushes my soul that I do not have a Marbella. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely. I wonderful. also want, um, there's a um, Murray, Mar Haskell, Marion Haskell. Yeah, she Marion has a Haskell. Yeah, she has a pearl bracelet I want. Um, let's see. Maybe I have that one. Hold on. Let me find my, see if I can find my bucket of stuff I'm listing. I have a Miriam Haskell for a Do you? Yeah, I don't have any, um, I have never found a Haskell either. <laughs> Weiss, Listener, Emmons. All of them I've found. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to dig it out. I'll have to dig out my basket of stuff I have for listing. I have a Miriam Haskell Pearl. It's oh, the, do you? Um, yeah, it's the wire wrap one with the memory wire. Oh, okay. And it's the, um, they're kind of almost a champagne color. But yeah, that's one of the high-end vintage brands you want to look out for. The Miriam Haskell, the um, probably the three best ones are Miriam Haskell. Um, what's the other one? I just bought a piece from Cindy the other day. Uh, I like Crown Trafari. Now, I know a lot of people don't. I do like Crown Trafari. I like their older stuff. Yeah, the um, crown trafari I like. The trafari is different. <laughs> Hobe, look for Hobe, look for Miriam Haskell, and I've had a Hobe, but I just sold had it a wasn't piece. one of the ones I enjoyed. I just bought a piece. No, somebody else outbid me for it, and why can I never remember what is the name of that other brand? Barbie just had it. Listener, um, I have Emmons, I have. Yeah, I have those tons. are all higher end vintage. Yeah, I have tons stuff. of Sarah Coventry vintage. Tons and I've tons Patty of Monet. Carnegie. That's what I'm trying to think of. Those oh. three brands are probably the biggest Carnegie um, vintage and, brands to look for. Yeah, Carnegie was always in competition with Chanel. 
Yep, and their stuff sells still really high. All three of those brands, if you yep. find pieces from any of those brands, they are worthy of listing. They sell for more than sterling silver. They will surprise you like that pearl bracelet I'm talking about. That pearl bracelet lists for almost $300. Yeah, and the one I want, the, the pieces I want are very many hundreds. <laughs> but I will get them one day. <laughs> But keep an eye out for those brands because every once in a while you find them in a jar. People that don't know. Marbella are good quality, definitely, Caroline. And But you will find like this. I almost sold this one day in a lot because I didn't look at the tag. And that at the last designer. second, yeah, at the last second I looked at it and guess what it is? And this is an early one. It has a patent pending on it. What is it? Hobay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I almost sold it in a lot of stone pieces. And this is um, real. Well, you can actually see. Hematite. Yeah. Hematite. Yeah. So one of the deals is back in the good old days, it was, cheaper to have gemstones than it was glass guys so a lot of them will have actual hematite carnelian amethyst citrine all of that because it was cheaper Try they even have turquoise that was in some of them that is real turquoise trying to show you the difference there between real and okay yeah i could see it yeah the it's Himalayan more black. The, the real, real hematite is more black, and it's got less of that shiny gray color. Yeah, hard to see on screen, but um, when you see it in person, you see the difference between the fake hematite and the real hematite. I don't know why they fake hematite so much because it's not that expensive. So. It's just they can't mine it anymore. It's hard to Okay, mine. well then if that's the case, it's gonna get expensive. Yeah, now that's hematite is actually they don't mine it anymore. That's why they make the fake Himalayan. Oh, you know what? I just realized it. those would look good together. They have both have carnelian. Carnelian in them. Yeah, yeah. They would be nice together. That that's kind of cool. Yeah, at the last second, I looked at that tag and went, oh, no, that's a Hobay. That can't go in there. Oh, no, Hobay is so nice. So expensive. And you find different brands like Hobay or Marvella or whatever in different areas of the country. Yep. It's very interesting to me. The crazy thing is, is all of the Hobay and... Um, all of those those three top tier designers, the Hattie Carnegie, I think I've only bought one of them. The other pieces came in bags or lots, so I got really lucky. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I did buy one of those pieces from Cindy. I don't remember which one, but one of those came from Cindy. And another very expensive brand to look out for, but it is a little more modern. Not quite as old, and where is it? Which I will show you. Um, Fendi. I was surprised that some people weren't familiar with Fendi brand. Oh, Fendi, yes. But do you know how much this pair of earrings list for? Oh, I would guess a couple hundred. Yep, between 139 and 169. And they're oh, yeah, costume. Fendi is an expensive brand. <laughs> yep, their costume. They're right up there with um, Gucci and them. That yep, type. they certainly are. These look to be maybe 80s, I would say, late 80s on the I would too. Yeah, they look late 80s, definitely. Now, if these were in a clip-on, they would cost even more. Oh, yeah, because they were clip-ons and older. Yeah, like the Givenchy clip-ons from the 80s. I have some of those. Those, those are expensive. Those sell really well, too. Oh, I have my costume jewelry is um, I have about 300 to 400 pounds of costume jewelry. <laughs> I have probably bought at least that much or more, at least a ton, but it's all been sold. Yeah. I have very little costume jewelry anymore. 
I no, can't find I'm... it anymore other than buying it per piece, but I can't. Oh, yeah, I don't it. buy mine per piece. I buy it. At, well, I, I buy it at estate sales, but I offer, I'll buy all of this. I need to go on uh, Shop Goodwill and buy a couple of boxes just so I have pieces to give away because I can't find any bags or jars. Locally. Yeah, well, Shop Goodwill, you're not getting good stuff out anymore. It's been probably almost two years since I've bought anything off of Shop Goodwill. So yeah, I have starting no in idea. about the middle of December, their prices started going skyrocket, and then they um, and now you the pieces you find are horrible. It's just crap jewelry. You used to be able to get amazing stuff on thread up, but as soon as the word got out and it was, you could get like a 10 pound box for like $29 or something like that. I miss that. those old days. The word got out and that box went up to 49 and then it went up to like 39 for five pounds. And then you yeah. just couldn't get it anymore. And you still have a hard time getting it in the prices like really high. But I got some really good thread up boxes when when we first became aware of thread up. Yeah, I've never it's, bought from thread up. That's one I have not bought from. It's not that great anymore, but I found awesome stuff in thread up boxes. Like yeah, I lot. miss the old days when I got boxes, you know, like 25 pound boxes and I could get yeah. really nice stuff out of them. A lot of high-end vintage and a lot of sterling silver, but I guess you're lucky now to get anything signed in those boxes from what I've heard. Yes, they're, they have, I'm not happy with how bad they've gotten. It makes me sad. <laughs> I've got a few pieces of ivory raven, but I don't generally try to sell it. I just put it in my jewelry box because the rules on selling it, you can sell it, but the rules are so strict that you yeah, know, not don't want to take any chance. No, I have. I don't have any ivory. I've always wanted like a scrimshaw piece, but I've never found one. I mean, I found them like at antique stores and stuff, but I mean in my boxes or my travels like that. Oh yeah, no, it's hard to find. I do have a beautiful fourteen carat um, ivory carved scrimshaw stick pen in my jewelry box somewhere i haven't seen it in at least a year but it's in there somewhere and, yeah. and that that is a gorgeous piece yeah that's what i want is a, a piece like that just one i love ellie's they're my i collect them so i want one i would like one ivory piece and that's you know, it. most people don't sell it on e on um ebay or on oh, that no. option because of that because the rules are so strict i have sold a couple of pieces but they were pieces I knew fit into the the laws, um, but I I do know that I think it was might have been Thelma gave away a, as a giveaway one time like one of her big yes she did. gave away a ivory carved ivory bracelet once because she was afraid to sell it so she she used it as a giveaway. Yep, they could still actually bust you for that, but. You just have to be careful. It was an older piece, so I'm sure it fit in. Yeah, I, I think most people, most people in our communities are are trying not are trying to follow the rules. So, you yeah, just so you careful. just gotta be lucky and find one by accident or something that somebody puts in a bag or jar that doesn't know is ivory. Yeah, I'm waiting. Someday I hope to find one. Just one piece, I know, right, Caroline? I found this beautiful piece. I don't know. Well, I can't really you know, find anything. When you do find a piece of legit ivory and you look at it with a loop, then you'll know the difference between ivory and bone once yeah. you see what ivory actually looks like. Ivory is um, like striated and bone is like cellular. Yeah, and it has like pitting and stuff in it where yeah. ice doesn't have any pitting. It just has kind of a wavy pattern in it. Yep. I found this little piece, but I can't find out much information about it. What is it? Is it a... It's a pendant. Pendant? Yeah, it's a pendant. It's just I'm gorgeous. I can't see it very well. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a gorgeous piece. Oh, that looks vintage. Yes, 
there's just not a lot. It's really well made, so. This I is, one day I'll find something out about it. I am still looking for pearls for this piece, guys. If anybody comes across, I don't know how to even. I'm going to have to, I guess, take this piece and get it measured so I know this, what size these are so I can order some. But this piece is just gorgeous. This is a sterling piece. But it's missing quite a few pearls. So I need pearls for this to replace some of the pearls. Like there's one missing right there. This is an older vintage. That's template. awesome. And I got this at a really good price because it was missing the pearls. Yep, that's why I buy costume craft lots. I've got it all crimped up now. But where is the got an older clasp on it but beautiful it's got all the marcasites are there it's not missing any marcasites but it is missing a few of the pearls i so need baby. some marcasite and i the last time i bought it it was crappy stuff so i gotta buy a different person. um talk to roberta she knows where to get really decent marcasites um, but I'm looking for pearls, so if anybody has pearls, little tiny ones, I'd be willing to buy them. I'm, Are those white or cream? They're pretty well white. And, they look white to me, yeah. Yeah, they're white, and I would say probably a half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter. They're very small. Let me see if I can measure them at all. I'm thinking about just taking it to a jewelry store and having them measure the size for me. So you I need know. to get one of these handy dandy things, my dear. Let me see. Yes, I do. That's exactly what I need to get. I need to order one of those. Yeah, they look to be about a millimeter. They're tiny. They're, it's not expensive and you can measure inside and out and it tells you it's digital. So. Okay, that's what I need to get. What do they I call mean, that? It's a, um, no, I can't think of what it's called. When you think of it, message me because I need to order one. That'll be so much easier than trying to measure them. Caliper. Here. Caliper. There you go. So a bead caliper. Yeah. Carbon fiber composite digital caliper. Okay. I think so it was like $8 that. on Amazon. All right. Send me a picture and I'll order one. Okay. Yeah. You really need one of those. <laughs> I they know. do make brass ones, and the brass ones are a couple dollars cheaper than this, but this is easy. <laughs> I don't like my brass ones like I like that one. Let's see. I do have, let's see if I still have these in here. These I'm going to lift, but I want to show them anyway. If I ever get back to listing. Oh. Yes. These don't look like much, but these are brass earrings, and they're like over a hundred dollars because of the name. This is a vintage piece. Let's see if I can find them. Look at this. Hmm. There they are. Nope. I don't know. I can't find them right now, but I have a simple two of brass earrings that have a designer name on them that list for over a hundred dollars. And these right here are Carnegie, I think. Are these Hattie? Oh, you got some Hattie? Yeah, these are Hattie Carnegie right here, but you see what's wrong? Oh, it's missing a thing? Yeah, and believe it or not, I got one of these in a bag and Roberta got the other one in the bag, the broken one in the bag, so she sent it to me. And I just need to find a Carnegie back to put on it. Well, flip it over. What you need to do is look for that pattern number or the patent number on it. Okay. Is that what it says? I can't see. Oh, it says Carnegie on it. Yeah, it says Carnegie. Hmm. But the, it's not actually like these. They squeeze in. Yeah, they squeeze out of together. There so you can easily replace it. So yeah. I could put one any the right, if I just found one the right size into it. 
But believe it or not, these lists, and these are crystal in here too, these lists for almost $200 is pair of earrings. I bet you'd still get about 150 with it broken. Like I that. know, even with it broken. Yeah. yeah. This is my latest. These are my two latest vintage finds. These two bracelets that are just gorgeous. Oh, my God. Those are pretty. This wow. one you can't lay out because it has the chain. Oh, I could take the chain Is off. that um, man-made opal backing there on those? Um, it's Is Mother it of Pearl. Mother of Pearl? Okay. I almost saw some I, flash in it. I thought it was opal. I think it's Mother of Pearl. And then um, Magnesite, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think it's real turquoise. It could be Chinese turquoise, too. That looks... It's very old. I mean, they're old, both of these pieces, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? This one they is are just. Stunning. This one has some wear issues, but I don't care. And this one's perfect. There's yeah, no but still, if you can find that, if you can research that and find that, find out who made it, it doesn't matter if it has wear. No. Yeah, I, I've had, I see a lot of these, but I have not been able to figure out who made it. I don't know if I still have, let's see, I have a book. Yeah, um, I have. I'm going to have to look for it later, but I have a book that has a whole bunch of different vintage designers in it. Oh, does it? Yeah, and it talks a lot about um, the history of all of these, of uh, when they yep. started making, like, for instance, the um, AB Stones and... 1954. The, yep, and all of they, the history of, like, Brivoli Stones. Yep. That just a lot of history of costume in it. It's a great book. Yep. I don't know what I did with it, though. I have several books like that. But, yeah, they came up with the AB coding. And they stabilized it, and it first came out in about 1957 um, in jewelry lines. Yeah, and it even has the history of when they started blacking, like making jewelry black. Oh, they japanning it. it or japanning, you yeah. That word. It talks about japanning, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I love. That's what I did a lot of my, when I was in my jewelry classes, I did history of like costume jewelry and stuff for my reports so a lot of like i find japan pieces like that like older when you find one that is not it doesn't look like um i'll say like gunmetal it just looks pure black yes but it looks like an older piece it probably is an old piece of japan and that stuff the legit japan stuff yep. so pretty high yep i've had a few of them but um and sold over the years this is also one of my finds i'll have it tomorrow oh my goodness is that a brooch slash pendant it is Okay, that reminds me. I need to ask you. Let me see if I have it out. I told you I was getting a lot of stuff together for you to do repairs for me. Yep. The last time I wore this piece, I lost a piece of abalone in it. See that? A piece of abalone fell out of it. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's kind of, oh, two. I see two pieces fell out. Yeah. So I don't know if that's something you can inlay abalone for me. And it's kind of purplish abalone. It's a Mexico sterling piece. It's an older piece of Mexico sterling. If I can find blue, if I can find that purpley color, yes, I could, I can figure that out. It's yeah. a Mexico piece. Yeah. Has the older mark there. Yeah. Yeah. Is, let me is know. that the mark my house? No. I'll, I'll look for some purple abalone too, but let me know like that piece you may just have to pull out if not what you can do is just take it all out and start over i do have pieces that i could take it all out and okay i'll see if i can find any it would be pr pretty if we could find some more of that purple yeah it's beautiful but i love the brooch and i love that brooch too that's gorgeous but yeah i found this one and i was like oh it was all black you couldn't even see yeah, that reminds me of this piece when you showed that. Yeah, this piece, you couldn't even see that it was silver 
It was all oh, black. Just did this uh, this week. Just needs soldering. Let's see. I was wearing this on my jacket and I forgot it was on there and it had my jacket on oh. the chair and I leaned back and it huh. stuck to my back of my shirt and it pulled it apart like that right there. Yeah, that's an easy solder. Yeah. So that is another thing I'll be sending you. So I got a quite a few pieces that just need a simple solder like that. And as you can see the, at the same time, the, um, they got bent. So yeah, I'll straighten it and heat them up and straighten them out. I'm afraid to try and straighten them that I'll bend them, but I've got another filigree piece too. That is a, a rose that the leaf, one of the leaves fell off that needs to be soldered. Back over. So, and this, I don't know if you can do anything with this, but I love these pearls. Um, yeah, we've talked about these pearls. Yeah. They won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the one you threatened not to send back. Um, um, I lost your pearls, Cindy. <laughs> see, see how they're put together? It's right. got like nylon threading through the pearl. Yes. And that is the only one that looks that way. So I think it's this must before. have been, yeah, a previous repair. But I'm thinking if you can figure out how to repair it and make it look like the other pearls, if yeah, not. Yeah, it needs a wire put through it. Yeah. Like the it, other ones. That's exactly. all. That's an easy fix. Okay. So I'll send those to you. I was going to say, otherwise, just take that section out. But if you can just stick a wire. No, I, I think I can pearls. fix that whole section. Vicky's been wanting this set of pearls forever, but this is one set I'm not giving up. They're stunning, though. That we can take perfect. that section out and make her a pendant, and you can give her a pendant. <laughs> exactly. That one looks like a duck, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, look, yes. That one looks like a little piggy. Wait till you see the color of these, though. The color is not showing up on screen. Wait till you see the color of these in person, though. It is. They're stunning. Yeah, those I would just, I have some real thin sterling. All righty. So that will come to them. Oh, yeah, they're they're kind of a golden. Um, they're gorgeous. They've got like golds and purples going through them. They're beautiful. My guess would be those came from warmer pastures because they're like the South Sea golden. Yeah. Pearls. These, I and, got these in a jar. No. -uh. Yes, I did. And I was really surprised that they're actually, it's sterling too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm All really sterling. jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> Came in a jar. Oh. I wow. broke it though. It wasn't broken. I broke it. Where now it looks day. like it's been broke before. Yeah. I I didn't and even I notice. Get a chain through it because you can't. And you have to have really tiny wire. Yeah. And it just looks like they ran the nylon through it. So yeah, um, they had fishing wire probably on. glued it. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to get the fishing wire out of it. I'm sure. Yeah. I'll yeah. use my pearl reamer and stuff. Yep. Yeah, it's not going to come out easy. You're, yeah. No, but that's all right. I can, yeah, I have a pearl reamer that I use and stuff. But that's coming to you. So I got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff that needs simple repairs, but I'll get it all together. I've, in the next day or two, this, I've showed you this. This is a Carl Art piece. Oh, yes. But I, um, I've been playing with um, costume jewelry repair. So that I can do. This is sterling. Oh, it's sterling. Yep. It's a Carl Art sterling brooch. It's beautiful. Look at that. Holy moly. That's gorgeous. Yep. Look at the glass. It's actually glass stones in there too, but look like crystal. I That's look amazing. Yeah, it's all about the cutting. Yeah, they did and they a used gorgeous. A high lead content in the glass. But probably my first Carl Art piece I ever found, and it got bent, and I was trying to bend it back, and I just snapped like really easily. Snapped. Yep. It was I just. Cried. Yeah, it was just a bitter solder point. But that came from a jar, too. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of stuff to put you to the test on for sure. Yeah, you're going to test my soldering skills. 
Hey, yeah. And do you do gold? Let me see it, and then I'll tell you <laughs> what needs to be done. <laughs> um, is this the gold ring? No, this isn't. Is this the gold piece? Okay, no, this is not it. But the funny thing is, is I have a ring just exactly like this, and and um, it's got a break right in there that is 14 karat. Uh huh. I think this is just a costume piece that I pulled because it looked exactly like the one I have, but it's got a little break right in here that needs a soldering. Is that something you could do too? No, I would take that to um, your jeweler and ask him if he has a, a laser solder. A, it's like a welding machine and he would just snap it really quick. Zap it. Okay. I'll do that. I yeah, and he should be able, I would make an appointment and have him do it right there while you're there. Yeah, this doesn't have any marks, so I think it's just a gold-plated piece. That, but that I one's really pretty. I like the setting and everything in it. Ironically, though, it is the exact design and color of stone I have in a 14-karat one. I really like that one. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. The stone's dirty. Yeah, a bit. I think it's actually a real stone in there, too, if I remember right. It looks like, are you sure it's costume? Um, It doesn't have any mark. I have not ever tested it or anything, but it doesn't have any mark at all in it. Nothing. Well, you don't want to ruin the um, vermeil on it. That's when you could take in and they can zap it with their machine. Well, the other one I have is actually a 14 karat, the one that needs fix. So I'll just take that in and let him zap it. But it's 14 K. Now this might be Vermeer because it looks like it's had a repair done or a sizing done on it Ah. on the inside. So that may be where the mark was. I see that now. It might have had the mark right there. Yeah, I have a ring right now that they sized it and I'm annoyed because they took off all the markings. Yeah, I think that's what's happened on this one because there's a patch right there where it's been sized. So I think maybe that might be Vermeer, actually. It looks uh -huh. like it to me. Yeah. And then well, the underpinning. It is a really nice topaz, though. It's, yeah, turn it over and look at under the undercarriage of it. Yeah, that's set up like a real ring. <laughs> like a real girl. Okay, so I've I've always thought it was just costume, and I like I said I threw it in there because it reminded me of the one I had in fourteen karat. Yeah, that one you may want to have checked out because I'm thinking that it's not. I can't right. see it. You know, I'm just guessing because I can't see it. See it. <laughs> you have some abalone pieces, Raven. Do you have any in purples? Even if it's if it's even close to that it would be fine i uh, just the purple is so pretty in here that i hate to take the purple out unless i have to yeah i've honestly never seen so much purple <laughs> it's gorgeous but you know what i'm afraid though as easy as those pieces fell out that some of the rest of it might have fallen out so it might be wise just to replace it all but i don't know if it were newer i wouldn't bother but because it isn't a vintage taxico i'm I'm going to, and, and it is a brooch slash pendant. I will. It's pretty. Would, it is pretty. That's why I would go ahead and fix it. Anyways, guys, so that is everything for tonight. <laughs> and uh, We've probably bored everybody I'm, to death. I'm, exactly. I bet you I already have a message from Vicki about this. <laughs> Probably threatening me if I put it up for auction, she'll divorce me. <laughs> Can you at least take a picture of the front and back of that and send it to me? This one? Okay. Yes. Isn't it cool, though? Really? Yes, because I'm going to see if I can't replicate it. <laughs> I sure will. I Because I have all those pieces right now, and I can do that. Yeah, stuff. it doesn't look like it would really be all that difficult. No, well. it doesn't. It's and I have, I have everything sitting right around me to do that. I'm like... I'm going to make myself one because my daughter, my granddaughter is called Hardly Bug. Very pretty though. And She's our little ladybug girl. 
But that one, that was, uh, Jude finds some amazing pieces. And she, she finds a lot of bug brooches for me. A lot of my bug brooches I got came from Jude. I've sort of um, made that my focus on brooch collecting right now, other than my bow, Sterling, is bugs. The bugs. Oh, Caroline, I'd like to see that Arthur Pepper bracelet, the fruit salad one. That will be good. That's a nice one. I cannot believe how many different silver designers there are out there that are just like, you know, award-winning silversmiths and their stuff just like sells for outrageous prices. And I know we let that stuff pass us by all the time because we don't recognize their mark or anything. Yeah. So I was thinking about, and I know, was it you, Kristen? That, and I know I've got to do that. I've got a bunch of like single earrings that you started the site yep. for the single earrings. Somebody needs to start one where if you discover a new like high end, either vintage or um, sterling designer where you just post on there about the designer and show an example of the work, that kind of thing, just so people are aware of those designers. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of artisans like me that just, you know, we make our pieces for whoever and then. Lots of people never see them. <laughs> exactly. Like I just have a lot of like high end designers that people have just never heard of. Mm -hmm. Well, here's an example right here. This, this necklace. Mm -hmm. This is bonbons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they are pretty expensive, but who's ever heard of that brand? And then I've got... Yeah. Kit Carson, who is an award-winning silversmith, his pieces sell for hundreds to thousands. I would love one of his pieces. They're all one of a kind. And I got that piece because Vicky, it was my birthstone. It was a cross with my birthstone in it. Oh, Vicky uh -huh. gifted it to me. And then I did the research and realized it was a one of a kind award-winning silversmith. And then I found like within a couple of days, I was researching, trying to find that piece. Cause at the time I didn't know it was a one of a kind, but in doing that research was when I found out it was a one of a kind and I found the matching earrings and they had just sold the day before I found them. Oh, <laughs> I was so bummed. It's like, Oh my God, they went for a good bit of money, but it was still something I could have have afforded at the time. It's like, good Lord, if I had just looked a day sooner, I would have found the matching earrings to that piece. Yeah. That, yeah. I know I have pieces that friends have made and stuff. And it is kind of like, it does like your heart does stop a beat when you found out you just sold a piece for 30, 40 dollars. That's worth 500. And you go, Oh my god, why didn't I do my research? I know that's why I, I hate bringing my pieces up because people don't realize how expensive <laughs> it is to make them. It's yeah, crazy. it's not. <laughs> I had one lady, and she's now a returning customer many times over. But she got, she was not happy with my $25 um, custom art piece, you know, charge up front. And she's like, I can't believe you're doing this. I'm like, it's very customary to charge for that, you know. I like this. this Ooh, right I like here. that too. Okay, this is one I bought from, I paid up for this piece though. I bought this, it's Hague. Oh gosh, I can't remember the last name with the G. But he's a very high-end artist. This ring yes. sells for over four hundred dollars. Yes, it does. I know. Yes, look at that stone in there. Yep, and that is um, that's a ten-carat topaz in there. And look at that cut. That's a specialty cut. Oh. Yeah. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. How and much did you pay for that? <laughs> I paid a hundred for it. This this. Oh, bit, you got a great it. deal. Yeah, I, I paid a hundred for it, so I got a really, really good deal for it. But it sells for four or five hundred. Yeah. And that's worth it. 
you know, if I had not known, been aware, I probably would have sold it for not much more than I paid for it. But I actually bought this piece for myself to wear myself. That looks really nice on your finger. I've got, um, I've got a, a Swiss blue topaz set mm -hmm. in, set in 14 karat. That's a little bit bigger than this that my husband bought me years ago, oh. but I've sized it several times. It's too small for me now, so I can't wear it. So it's going to have to be sized again. And they said they would have to put a new shank on it to size it again. Probably, so that's yeah. why I bought this because it fits me. It fits my ring finger and it fits this finger. But that's why I bought it because I can't wear the other one. And it that's is gorgeous. Like that's just, I, when I started silversmithing in 80, what, 86 or 87. And um, well, I had my parents had friends, their best friends were um, goldsmiths that owned a jewelry store and everybody poo pooed Sterling. You know, it's just crappy crap, you know, whatever. But and I no, always was like, no, designer. Sterling is an art and it is beautiful and it doesn't need to be made yucky like. You can make it into beautiful things. <laughs> exactly. And there are a lot of high end silver designers that some of that pieces sell for more than gold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just was Caroline. Nobody's ever heard of that brand. I've had this for a long time and I've never sold it because I it's something I would have to list to even get close to what it's worth. Oh, Caroline, that the bonbon they use Swarovski crystals on on all their stuff and they're each handmade. Yeah. Or they, they used call, to be. I don't know. I haven't looked at Yeah, they're in a still while. from when I did my research, it's still handmade pieces, so yeah, which was a piece I was glad I researched before I did it. But that's what I'm talking about. It'd be nice for somebody to start a site where you can list that kind of stuff. Now, this is a beautiful amethyst here. Ooh. Actually, you know what? You know, maybe is that in gold? Amethyst. It's actually, I think this is the violet sapphire. I was going to say, that's not amethyst. That has got yeah. different colors in it. Yeah. And the only mark it has in it, it says both 925 and sterling. But it's, uh, I would never get what this is worth at an auction. No, that has Kristen's name on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice big stone. I'd say this is at least probably five carats. It's a beautiful stone. It's yeah, a I would reset it. <laughs> I would remount yeah. it and stuff, but yes, that's a gorgeous stone. Yeah. So, you know, they would be nice to actually sell some of this stuff, but you know what, if people aren't you, if they don't know who the designer is, they're not going to pay what it's worth. Well, that's when I list stuff, I always list, or when I talk about it, even my Sopata, I'm like, if you can find it on this catalog, you know, the more you can romance something up, the more people are willing to pay for it. Well, yeah. And there are some people that just list that kind of stuff too cheap too, because they're not familiar with the design. So they let it go for way too cheap. And Oh no, I, that, that beaded Silpata thing that runs between a hundred and 150 because it's the 10 millimeter one. Um, exactly. And somebody had it listed at $22. Exactly. And because when I they, see that, I buy it. And the, because, uh, you know, it's like, I got to get that off the market because they're taking down the value. So I buy it when I see it. But, I, and that's why I did this piece. But you see what happened, though. <laughs> I ended up getting a piece of crap. Well. But it was listed you know, $20 less than everybody else had it listed yeah. for. So I thought, wow, somebody doesn't know Lamode, but they just, you know, she should like, not have faked no, her out like that. She should have said it's the enamel is peeling. She should have showed it, but she had it staged to where I couldn't see that. I think there was something else laying over it like that, where you couldn't really see the yeah. mark in it which that was intent to deceive there yeah and i thought wow the price is too good to be true let me go ahead and get it because it was like five or six dollars and they sell for much more than that so you know even with shipping it was it would have been a good deal had it not been screwed up like that yeah now it's just meltdown value 
Yep. Which it's still got a meltdown value. But yep, or I'll just give it to whoever buys that one. I'll give it to them with that one, basically. Yeah, or you give it to people like, or people like me buy it, and I repurpose it into a, something else. Yep. Well, even you could even peel off the enameling off of it and have a sterling silver. Yeah. Brooch, basically. Yeah. But no, I like that shape, that round shape, the medallion shape is what I make. Well, and this was supposed to be a round piece too, so I don't even. Yeah, that's not round. It comes in round and oval, so I'm not even sure that this is the piece that was in the picture, to be honest. Oh, and I just hate hearing that. <laughs> I, just, uh, I know, and that, I think I bought that on eBay too, which if I complained to eBay, they would probably smack her hands, but I'm not going to complain about it. It. You know, if I had paid a lot for it, then I would have been. But, you know, lesson learned. Um, it was, uh, you know, if it's too, my my motto on that, as I'm always saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. When yeah, I it. just assume I'm always buying fakes until I test it. <laughs> yep. So very often when you see a piece like that and everybody has it listed as 100, but you have that one person that has it listed at 40, there's probably a reason. Either they don't know what the heck they're doing or there's something wrong with it and they're just not telling you what's wrong with it. Or you yeah. got to read you got to read the fine print to see why they're selling it $60 less than everybody else. I know. Most people just annoy me. Yeah, it's, it's Bon Bonds, Carolyn, like B O N B O N S. Do you, Cindy, do you know anything about these kind of brooches? I've never, I don't know. Um, I, I have just, a couple of those. I just found it in a, it was in a box. But I don't know a lot about them because most of the time they're not marked, but no. I have a couple of that type of brooch. Yeah, there's nothing marked they're, on it at all. They're very well made. As a matter of fact, I just got one very similar to that recently. Um, but I found them in copper, I found them in sterling, and I found them in brass. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, there is a marking that I just saw when I laid it down for you. Right there. Can you see it? Right. Where's my little pointer? What did I do with you? Oh. I wonder what that says. I want... It's a C O. I'm hoping you can do for me. C -O. What? And it's that one sterling? I think so. Well, it, it definitely is a vintage and older piece. Yeah, and I think there's a mark hey, here. Right here. Nice to see you. Yeah, we need to do some research on that one. Let me see the other side of it again. And it's not my style. I don't like the filigree and stuff, but I just, it's a well-made brooch. Yeah, they are very well-made. And it yeah, took a long time to do that. The <laughs> filigree, yeah, you may be able to um, research that one with the mark and the fact that it is filigree. Yeah, but I'm going to, I never had seen that mark before on it. So I'm going to have to. It does look very old though. Kind of has an Art Nouveau kind of look to it. Yes, it does. And it has an old, old class. So that's, I mean. Here's another thing I want to see if you can do for me. This is a pair of the QT earrings. Oh. These are old ones. Okay. Okay. These have, these are some of the prettiest ones I've found too. They've got really dark garnets in them. I don't know if you can see. One is darker than the other one too, but very dark garnets. And then you see what the problem is there. It's missing one of these. These mm. need to be cleaned, obviously. I don't know if you can replicate one of those for me. It's got the onyx he she. I would even, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. That's I wouldn't even care if it was glass, but it's missing one paddle. Yeah, yeah, one little paddle like that. Is that something you could replicate? Probably. It might take me a few tries, but yeah. The paddle you can do, yeah. 
So I bought these several years ago when I was in Kansas visiting my sister, and I love them. I've worn them myself. A couple people have wanted to buy them, but I'm in love with these. But I would like to get that one. Link. Where in Kansas? Um, in uh, Topeka. That's where I grew up. Really? That's where my sister Melody, that's always in the chat, that's where she lives. Yeah, that's where I grew up. I live but, there. Yeah. They're just gorgeous. They probably would be even more stunning if I cleaned them up. Oh, yeah. There's only one. It would be one onyx he, she. Yeah, it needs. There are two smaller ones. Yeah, just one one on that one. And the two bench beads, which I think I have those. So, yeah, I, yeah. And the paddle's not hard to make. It's just making no, it. They're so, really thin paddles, too. Yeah, to make it look like the others. Okay, well, I will send that to you. And if you can, uh, I'll put that in with the rest of the stuff. You, you don't need both earrings, right? Just send the one? Yeah, just send the one. It's fine. Okay. All right. So that will go into. This was the first pair I ever found of this QT brand, though. These are actually marked QT Sterling, too, I think. Yep, QT Sterling. So I love these, though. These are yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, those are gorgeous. I like that kind of earring. I can't believe how dark that one stone is, though, compared to the other one. Is it just dirty? Oh, it's it's native. You can't. Sometimes they can get dirt under them, and you never. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's just you can see how red that one. This one's red too, but it's just very dark compared. Yeah, they're different. Yeah. Oh, oh way different. Yep. But one, anyway, are they I, both garnet, or is one onyx and one garnet? It, they both test as garnet. Oh, okay. So I think it's just maybe just really dirty. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And that you could actually. Most of the time, they're not cut out like this, too. No, I haven't ever seen a garnet cut like that. <laughs> well, I mean the um, the earring. Oh they, no! The yeah, inside, the heart yeah, cut no. out. Most of them don't. The conches, they'll have a stone set in the center or something. Yep. This is the first pair I found with the cut out like that. Yeah, the native. They're not into like piercings and take cutting out middles and stuff yeah these look older than most of the pairs i found from this brand too really huh yeah that's cool yeah i should be able to that one will just take more time awesome so those will go into and i'm sure i know i have other stuff and as i find it i'll send you pictures and just let me know what you can and what you can't fix so yeah yeah, I just don't like to, if, yeah, I'll, I, I'll try a lot of things like that. I can try. And yeah, if we can, anything, that's fine, try. but we'll give it a try anyway. Huh? I said, if you can't, it's fine, but give it a try. And yeah, I think I can. I, it's just going to be getting it flat like that and then getting the silver color the same because it's an old silver. Yeah, it's not that noticeable, Carolyn. I mean, because I'm like a total perfectionist. I notice it, so it bugs me, but it's not <laughs> that noticeable. Uh, I could take one off of each side and even it out, but then I would see this, and that would drive me crazy. Knowing that something's supposed to be hanging in there. And a couple of people have, have wanted to buy them as is, but it's just a pair because they're... They're nice dangles, but they're not super heavy. This part of it is kind of heavy, but the dangle part is not heavy. So I can actually wear these and my ears don't get sore. You can. If they weren't native, I would say just to cut the Yeah, exactly. Off. I don't want to But they're them. native, so I would never do that to them. <laughs> exactly. I want to try to fix them before I take them apart anyway. Well, the All other right. thing you could do is put some garnet in the dangle part. That's true. You know? That would work. Yep. That would work. So that's another thing. If I, I don't know about the he, she's the only thing. I'll keep my eye out for some of them like that. Um. Yeah, I may even have something with some he, she in it. I think the biggest problem um, is 
from what I was told when I asked someone else to fix it was finding the paddle. No, I'll just make the paddle. That's not a big deal. Yeah, if you can make the paddle, that would be cool. I think. Yeah, I would never, I would never look for a paddle. It's the he shoe that I'm worried about, not the paddle. <laughs> yeah, um, I may have a. I'll look and see if I still have it. If I didn't sell it, I think I have a um, liquid silver necklace that has some black he she in it. Yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, that's what I'm. But I'm not the paddle. It'll take me a couple tries, but who cares? <laughs> that's no big deal. All right. Well, I'm going to send those to you, too. Yep. Okay, you guys. Thank you for coming tonight. We, At what uh, time tomorrow? 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central tomorrow okay. night. Um, Roberta should be with us. Yay. Um, and again, if you're just joining us, if you haven't been here the whole night, um, Roberta and I are going to auction on Sunday because she will be getting home late tomorrow night so she's after driving she's going to be kind of tired so we switched our night to sunday and Kristen and christina will be on tomorrow night for auction and then roberta and i will be here on sunday at six central seven eastern and tomorrow night we'll be starting at 6 30 eastern 7 30 or 6 30 central 7 30 eastern and I think that is it. And I have got to get the rest of the schedule together tomorrow. So I'll let you know who's coming up for um, May and June. I don't have everybody on the schedule yet. I do have a list, but I don't have them actually assigned to dates. So I'll give you those dates. Um, but Kristen is the last person. Chris, Kristen and Christina are the last persons I actually have on the schedule with the date. So I got to get um, get it together so that I, everybody knows the following week what, what day they're going to be on. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you staying with us for so long tonight. And we will see you all tomorrow night. Say good night, Kristen. Good night, ladies. Hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Miss Lori, did you get those addresses that you needed from Roberta? I just realized tonight when I was looking back at some messages that I never sent you those addresses that you needed. So I hope you got those. If not, let me know and I'll get them to you tonight. And I appreciate you guys. Love you all. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. And uh, hi, Joyce. I'll let you know, too, um, Mike. I don't know if Mike's going to be with us both Saturday and Sunday, but I'll let you know on that, too, Elizabeth, if you're still with us. Good night, guys. Signing off. Remember, our life is short and fleeting, so drive it like you 